I need an inception horn. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you hear me? Can you see me? I always like to ask those questions first. And typically, if RC Maniac is here, he is the one that answers. I've got the chat on a little window right over here. So uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see if you can hear me and you can see me. Can see and hear you from RC Maniac. There we go. Welcome to another 3D Printing Nerd live stream. We had an episode ready to go today, almost. Um, we were actually going to announce the winners of the 3DPN speaker cover contest sponsored by Things and um, shipping. We were waiting on shipping. And in, unfortunately, uh, the U.S. Postal Service is a little slower right now, understandable. So we're pushing that episode to Wednesday. So this Wednesday, we're going to find out the winner, the runner-up, and the random draw winner for the 3DPN speaker cover contest. And I can't wait to share it with you. Uh, and before we get started here, I'm just, um, I want to make sure, I'm, I'm very, very clear about this. Next, oh, well, shoot, I can't, hold on. JR with 10 bucks, that's two fives. I want the first print and love the live streams. Thanks, JR. I'll try to get you that first print unless someone outbids you. Although outbid is just weird because you're already given the money. It's not really a bid. I don't know. We'll try to figure that out. Look, at if at the end of the stream you're getting my first print, send me an email. That would be the best way to do it. And uh, we'll actually, uh, you know, maybe, maybe in the future we actually put up an eBay listing that lasts until the end of the stream. Well, there's Mark with a tenor. Shakes after the stream. Sean, you want shakes after the stream? Yes. Okay. Shakes after the stream. Thanks, Builders Mark. Two fives. So... Normal live streams, we like to have a lot of fun. Um, I've said multiple times to Sean today, I just want this to be a chill stream. Like, I'm, I'm tired all, this weekend. My son had a baseball curse. tournament. It's always the curse. It's, it's always the curse. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, but but I next weekend, next Sunday, next Sunday is easily the most ambitious, incredible stream I will have ever attempted. I'm not kidding. If this goes off, <laughs> Zoot with Tenor, just sex Zoot. If this goes off correctly, this is going to be talked about globally. I don't, I don't want to set it up like this is the end all be all, <laughs> but there's a really good chance you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be next Sunday. And as soon as we have all of our I's dotted and T's crossed, I will prepare the thumbnail and we'll get the stream scheduled. And once you see the thumbnail, you'll see why I just said what I said. <laughs> I like my, the hairs are standing up on my arm right now. I'm a, I'm a little bit excited about this. This is, this is a year in the making. This is, um, this is utilizing uh, my producer, David Tobin, who did some miraculous work to make this happen. And, uh, I just, I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. I like, like, I can't wait. Sean's looking at me right now and he's just giggling because he knows what's <laughs> supposed to happen and he can't say anything. I can't. But BTR Plumbing with 199 at 203 is what PLA you recommend. We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, next Sunday, once we have a time, we'll get it scheduled. And I, I swear this is not something you're going to want to miss. Just... There we, I'm just going to leave it there or else I'm going to spoil it. So uh, there's been some, uh, some chitter chatter here. I like we've got, a, uh, we've got the tenor from JR and we talked about the first print. That's a little tough to, to do right now. But if you, uh, if you do get the first print, if at the end of the stream you're the first, I don't know. I mean, email me. We'll make some prints happen. I think we can make that happen. Builders Mark the Shakes. We did talk about that. Thank you very much. Uh, Sean is very excited. About, uh, shakes. Woo. Zoot with a tenor. Recently converted my Ender 3 Max to do multicolor prints. I have some prints coming your way in Fan Mail Friday. <sighs> That's awesome. So you can't see behind me, but there are 12 very large packages from you, my viewers, behind me that I get to open for Fan Mail Friday. We have Fan Mail Friday set for the next like six. Yeah, it's, it's like a mountain of packages. Or like, like the next six. A mountain of packages. That is, that is highly, highly accurate. Uh, I missed something else. Let's see. BTR Plumbing, that's right. Um, what PLA you recommend? Um, honestly, right now, for your Ender 3, go to Printed Solid and get some Jesse PLA. It's inexpensive, and it's, it's really good quality stuff. Uh, David Randolph, he might even be in the chat. He is the one that makes it right there, and uh, I've, had, I've had really, really good results with it. Um, yeah, 
Do that. Do that. Go get that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Go get that. That's good stuff. Uh, I want to make sure I don't miss anything else. Dark Overload 23. I don't know what happened to Dark Overlord 1 through 22, but I, I hope you're doing well, Dark Overlord 23. Yeah. What is a good and effective printer for beginners? <laughs> Hopefully. I hope it's this one, right? I, I hope it's this one. Uh, the Ender series from Creality is always good. The CR10 series from Creality got, uh, offers you a bigger platform to print on. Uh, I like the Prusa Mini and the Prusa line of machines. Those are pretty easy as well. A little bit uh, more expensive, but a little bit more feature rich. Well, it's cheaper than this one. The Mini? Yeah. Uh, the Mini is $399, $429, $449. Well, you can get it, you can, you can get it disassembled in a kit form for like $349, I thought. No, 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 it's no, more, no. It's more it's, now? It's, it was always $399, I thought. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I think they made it more because it's the Mini Plus. <laughs> oh, I see. I don't know. Someone will correct me. Yep. So, uh, but with that in mind, uh, what's kind of interesting about this machine is it's, it's a CR10 Smart. So uh, if you take the CR10, in fact, someone in the chat before we went live was talking about how they, a video they saw of me with my CR10 review long ago was one of the first videos they saw, and now they own themselves a 3D printing business. I thought that was really cool. Uh, but the CR10 wow. has always been, the CR10 kickstarted the low cost, large format 3D printer revolution. Yep. Uh, Creality kickstarted it with that. Uh, in fact, uh, my buddy Preston at Press Reset, I think was one of the first ones ever to get that machine and popularize it. Uh, I got one myself, put out a review, and uh, yeah, it's done well. It had a lot of views, and I've heard from a lot of people that that was the first video that they got to see of mine. So the CR10S Smart is kind of neat. So it's it's Creality's continual evolution. Hey, there it is. Look at that. It's, con it's Creality's continual evolution evolution of the CR10 series. But what makes this really cool is the, the evolution part. So they've added features to this. So this has built-in Wi-Fi, which means you can print remotely. It also has 32-bit silent steppers, which means you can print quietly. And uh, it has CR6 SE type auto bed leveling. Ooh, I like I, that. I, yeah, I like that a lot. That's at least what I read in the specs, which means you can print easily. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, we're not going to investigate the Wi-Fi stuff tonight. That's going to be left for future videos and the eventual review. What we're going to do is take a look at the 32-bit stepper drivers and see how quiet they really are. And then we're also going to take a look at that bed leveling. Because at $499, if you can get a CR10 platform that's uh, latest and greatest, rigid, auto-leveling, and can perform well... That satisfies the what's a good printer that I can print large things with under 500 bucks. So, I don't know. It's you know, kind like, of exciting. Boy, I, I like just right went away. off on a tangent, didn't yeah. I? What I like right away, the, uh, the support rods. Yeah, 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 yeah. The support rods. Dark Overlord, 23 with another two bucks. How big is the 3D printer and almost how much is it? Well, we, we discussed the price, but I believe it's 300 by 300 by 400. This there's a link in the there's a link in the description. Uh, it takes you to the Creality page. You can take a look. I think I'm missing like so many. Yeah, so yeah you missed a lot. But I, you went I off apologize. On a what? You went off on a tangent. I did go off on a tangent. Okay, I'm I'm going here. Here we go. Tripods Garage, nine ninety nine. Out of his mind. Are you out of your mind? Thank you, Sean. Sorry. <laughs> First frosty beverage on me. Will it be an adult beverage or a strawberry shake? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Robert shakes. Blue with nineteen ninety nine. Robert Blue, you're out of out your of mind. mind. Chris's 3D print shop with a fiver. That's high five. Man, I was here for that massive giveaway, Joel. Interested in how you plan to top that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. And this is a different level. Yeah. It's well, also a different kind of stream. It's a, just be there. <laughs> just be there. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to use my real name with fifty dollars. Well, Whoa. that's thank you. I wish I could thank you personally, but I don't know your what? real name. Joel, I have an Ender Six that I received in January that keeps blowing MOSFETs. Crowley's giving me the runaround on fixing it. I've never been able to print with it. At wit's end, help please. Um, well, shoot, fifty dollars. Thanks for that. That's ten fives. And uh, with that one, shoot me an email. I have a contact at Creality, and I'll try to put you in touch. Maybe we can get it working. Maybe we can get you at least talking to them. Um, my email is in the about page here on YouTube. I should be easy to find. And the emoji with a 20. Screw shake, spear money. Sean, you better have it on. Okay, let me get through these, and then I'll, I, I have a, a treat for Sean real quick. Oh, no. JR with 50. 
Make it for the first print. Oh, geez. Okay. And also use the tenor for drinks. Aw, thanks, Jay. Uh, Patrick Casey, 299. Are you going to be the first ever print in zero G? Oh, I, I wish. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I could go to the International Space Station, I'd leave right now. I would end the stream and say thank you. And I would go get on a rocket <laughs> and blast into space. Patrick Gill with 199. CR10 Smart, it comes with Creality Wi Fi box. Uh, not the box, it's integrated Wi Fi. Integrated Wi Fi. BTR Plumbing with 199. Thank you. By the way, I print and sell mini working toilets. <gasps> what? I would destroy those. Oh, that's amazing. I want a mini working toilet. Yeah, me too. No, like, seriously, send me information. Send me information. Okay. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We got through it. Okay, mm. Sean. Sean. Yes. Uh, right. You're oh. right. We did get through it. What? What? So, Sean, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Michigan. God, I hate this. I know where this is going. I'm from Michigan. Where are you, you're from Michigan, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... As someone, as someone from 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 Michigan, uh, th this isn't something you enjoy, right? <laughs> no. Like this, this, does this hurt? I wanna. Does this hurt to look at? Yeah. Okay. Because our friend Eddie Mosier, uh -huh. the kind, cuddly Eddie Mosier, sent this to me That's to give to you. The most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. So for our next fan mail Friday, Sean will appear I, in, oh. the, in this shirt. In this I, shirt. You can't even no. Yeah. No, no, I refuse. Yeah, this I is for you. So, shoot it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't. I, I'm not going to say thank you. <laughs> you don't have to say thank you. That's good. But I will. Thank can, you, Eddie. Yeah. Can we can we burn it after that? Listen, it's your shirt. <laughs> it's your shirt. It's a okay. gift. Right. It's a gift. Okay. Yeah. Leviathan Prim with a tenor. Hi, Joel. Good to see you're keeping hydrated with the beverage of choice. That's right. So uh, Zach from Instructables said in a text. Hey, Joel, my friend is starting a company. It's a water company. He wants to send you some water. I'm like, I like water. Liquid death. What even? Liquid death. Please read the description. Okay. It's to murder your thirst. This <laughs> frosty can of pristine Austrian mountain water will, won't, ri won't, ch <laughs> can't even say it. won't just refresh your body. It will murder your thirst. I'm yep. going to murder my thirst. It's just, it's just weird sipping water out of a can. But it's, I mean, wait, wait, everybody, everybody, it's, grab it's, your beverage. Because we got to get this box open. I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> Not perfect. Leaving stream due to alcohol abuse. Where? This is water. This is water. This is water. <laughs> For hydration. I, I, I don't know. Is that sacrilege to tap water? No. They make a thing, it's called tap water. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Project printing for two bucks, that shirt and a paper bag over his head. Oh, Chris. That's the only way I can do it. Oh, Chris. So the CR10 Smart. Let's get it out of the box. What do you say? According to the website. It's a good cut. It's a very good cut. According to the website, this printer can be set up in eight minutes. <laughs> wow. And if you look at the video, uh, the promotional video where they, they talk about it, uh, there is a nice young lady who has this on a table in her living room. Because <laughs> that's where printers go. Nope. Apparently. <laughs> Daniel Pentecost with a 20. I'll probably fall asleep on the couch, so getting it in early. Aw. Uh, thank you, my friend. Very, very kind of you. Robert Perlow, it's a can of tap water. Listen, I don't know that for sure. <laughs> it's from a special uh, mountain. It's from a special mountain somewhere on this planet. Okay, so inside we have... Oh, look at this! I can't... Do you see that? Yes. That's kind of cool. Aw. Look at that. The Creality, lo the creality uh, mascot is giving me a heart. That's awesome. And inside the bag, look at that. Just the four screws for the... Uh, the the posts, the oh. gantry, the, oh. the thing. The, 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 the supports. The, su the thing. The thing. I just, I'll tell you what. Oh, okay. Uh, it does come with a small spool of filament. I do have a US power plug. That's good. Oh, does this hold? Oh, okay. I'm just going to take this out. Uh, inside here, we have the support rods. 
This is a spool holder, very familiar. It's the same type that we saw on the CR6 and uh, the Ender 3 V2, I believe. Uh, pancake flipper, I've seen one, you see them all. And the screen. It's oh, packed really well. I don't know if anybody has one of these yet. I, I know that they're available. I just don't know uh, if anybody has one yet. Okay. Do it. So, and the rest is the machine. Yes. So I don't want to... I want to be able to get this I have, out. I have faith. Do it. I'm trying. We're live, Joel. Come on. <laughs> it doesn't want to. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't die. Uh. <laughs> Living is important. So, this is... Um, Difficult? I don't want to break it. I, I mean, I can remove pieces, Just but there are pieces that are connected to other pieces, and I don't uh, want the wires to pull out. Yeah, I get it. The CR-10 Max is also a pain in the butt to pull out of the box. Sure, and it's also like the size of a football field. Yeah, yeah. But for the same reason, everything is connected uh, but not connected. There we go. Awkward. Look at that. Well, then, okay, and that's it. Cool. Oh, I missed one, didn't I? Yes. Okay. At least one. Old German Stein? Five bucks. I finally got you High Five Blue working on my printer, and I love it, so I bought some more. I've used the whole spool already. It's a really good color. It's a lot of fun to print with. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, a little more. Oh, there we go. Uh, Max Franco, ARS 50. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the fit, but thank you for the 50 R's. <laughs> Are. I know. If the printer is smart, why isn't it put together on its own? Oh, you're not the only one to make that joke. <laughs> should we take a look at the instructions? Or should I just like... Did you get the one from Mitsuo, Mitsuo Level? Oh, look at that. It's not... Uh, it isn't put together. I could have taken... It could have been, it could have oh. been a lot easier. Oh, well. Mm. Time makes fools of us all. Did you get this one? Uh, no. There you go. Uh, Mitsuo level with a fiver. Thank you. Doing my second 3D print on my Ender 3 at the moment. This is my second printer. The first one was a horrible Delta that never worked. You got me into 3D printing. Oh. Well, first of all, thank you for the fiver. That's really kind of you. And it's really awesome to hear that I got you into 3D printing. A lot of people have a lot of fun with this. And so it's just, it's good to see uh, another one in the community. So welcome. I hope you have lots of fun. And yeah. I hope you print all the things. We have someone else that's out of their mind. Really? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Master Dark 9999. You know, if you're five nines, you're industrial. Master Dark 9999. 499. Are you out of your mind? Could you print the Creality mascot with this printer? Most likely. I I'm guessing. I don't know if they have an STL available. An emotion with a tenor. Tenor's for Sean. You'll need to wear that shirt for Fan Mail Friday. Remember, Sean, it's for charity. <sighs> yep. Charity. I'm also donating part of my soul for the episode. <laughs> you don't have a soul. That's true. Uh, does it come with tools? Okay, there's some. There's one on camera now. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't hear those those small words. <laughs> Dang. So uh, I'm just looking for the tools. It looks like there's the four bolts to put the towers in, but, uh, school holder, uh, oh, there's a spare one of these, is it, okay, there we go, there's a spare, uh, T-nut, just kind of hanging out, you know, that's good, I always lose the T-nut, that's not, that's not a joke, I always lose one, <laughs> oh, it goes to the spool holder, so it's not a spare, oh, well, sorry, so, this one's, this one's taken, it's taken, that on uh okay oh interesting so is there oh wait there's a drawer nice the drawer man it gets you every time gets me every time doesn't it oh it's a big drawer oh look at that tools can you see that yeah ah success okay well i feel better oh Did so it's a cutout it? it's not a it's, so it's a 
It's broken. not foam with a bottom. It's just cutouts, and so everything is in the <laughs> is is in the. Uh, well, that's kind of good though, because if you want to put something else in there, you can. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I've got uh, tools. And I try to use the tools it come with to put it together. It's a user experience. I think that's fair. Yeah. These uh, these new bottoms of the 3D printers. I know it's just extrusions in it, but uh, you know, they're it looks nice. Yeah, I like that it's all one piece like that. You like that? Yeah. I kind of do too. Still wouldn't put it on my coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. You don't have to. I'll put mine on your coffee table. What? I said nothing. Okay, so that's in. Good. I'm just going to stand really close to this so it doesn't fall over. <laughs> you're, you're missing some. What? I'm missing some. Some oh some some monies. Yep. Okay, let me. Well, like four. Let, okay, let me get this secure. Just drop it. It's fine. <laughs> I will scroll back in a moment. I do. I do want to get this. My least favorite part of anything, printing wise, <laughs> hooking up the gantry. But it's, it's not bad though. Without it's looking, not, it's, it's, my, ugh. it's not bad. No, no, I'm serious. This is this is not bad. The screws went in super easy. Oh, good. Yeah. Like it wasn't just an, a wide open space. There were slots to put the oh, screws perfect. in. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much better. Yeah, yeah. I was very happy about that. Oops. What are you doing? I just wanted to give it my, oh, my all. Oh, I got you. Mm. Yeah, I want to make sure. Go plus ultra. <sighs> Okay, other side. I can't. I can't just read them out. Joel has to read them. It's more personal that way. Yeah, I gotta read them. I gotta read them. Just a sec. I just have every, two more screws, and then we'll do it. Every time I try to read them out, Joel just stops me and does it himself. If people are kind enough. No, I get it. I get it. To. No, I'm just. I'm just saying. Yeah. If people are kind enough, then I will say their words. <laughs> Some last stream was it? Someone gave fifty bucks for me to to say their their Instagram business or something like that, right? Nice. I was like, wow, well played. Yeah. <laughs> well played. Well played. Cool. Uh, okay. The only thing left are these right supports. here. Yeah, supports. But I'm going to go back. I just want to make sure. Supports. Let's see. What did I miss? You said four of them, is that right? No, well, not last I checked. It's, it's been two minutes since. Well, Herka Lurka. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying that with Fiverr. Can we get a video on multi-material printing rather than multi-color? Yes. Uh, if you look, I've actually done multi-material where I've used PETG and PLA with PETG as the support interface material to make the breakaway supports easier. And then I use the palette on that. If you, if you look in my mosaic palette playlist and that video is in there and you'll see it it's multi-material uh eddie with eddie Mosier for five the 10 was for a beverage okay thank you eddie well, we'll, I, we'll, I, we'll use get it. all sorts of stuff we'll use it btr plumbing 499 how are you out of your mind how can i contact you i'd love to send you some mini fully functional toilets i've already made 900 dollars in sales i'm shocked people like them i'm not <laughs> i'm not use um <clears throat> I'll just say, business at the3dprintingnerd.com. That's my email address that you can send business inquiries to, business at the3dprintingnerd.com. There we go. A fully working mini toilet. That's, uh... Who pooped that, That's cool. That's cool. Any Mosier with a fiver. Was that the right T-nut? Is right extruder spring is evil? No, 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 no. It was the left one. I'm no, it wasn't. It was just one of the ones on the spool holder. And this is only a single extruder, Eddie. There's no evilness inherent in this design. We can still find it. Eddie Mosier with a fiver. Onomatopoeia. I don't know what that means, Eddie. I mean, I know what that means, but I don't know what that means, Eddie. But thank you for the fiver. Okay. Hydration. Please, everybody, check your thirst. That sounds like a Murder. slogan. Murder. Murder your thirst. I can't say that. <laughs> 
That's somebody else's slogan. You can't. Oh, it's good. Is it trademarked yet? I am gonna. I'm gonna peek at the instructions. Um, just because it's it's a new machine. So let's see what we get. Oh, look at this. Um, hey, Sean, look at that. I can't. There's stickers right there. Stickers. Yeah, look at it. Creality 3D. Nice. Achieve dreams. And then 3D printing industry evangelist Creality. Those are good sticker designs. I like that. Huh. I need new stickers. Caution. Recommended to use Creality slicing software to avoid machine abnormality caused by different slicing instructions. Oh, okay. Well, here, I'll show you. So, oh. uh, have a look. So, it's just telling me right there that um, uh, G28, that's the G code command to home, and then X, Y, and Z, you can tell it X, Y, and Z um, uh, coordinates or, or axes to home to, and it, it's saying don't do that. It's saying just use G28. Hmm. Just use that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's easy. And that means that other G-code slicers are going to work just fine. Just going to, I mean, you, you just want to make sure that you don't specify the axes on, on the G28 command in your start script. That's pretty easy. Yeah, I do like that. I just like the, the packaging material, the different things that come with this. Like, it's a different unboxing experience based on the CR10 line that I'm used to. You know what <laughs> well, I mean? that's a good point. So the CR10 line, I mean, four years old, right, is when it started. Like it's, the CR10 itself was a, was the minimum amount of parts to make a machine that could produce quality models. Right. I think, I think that's fair to say. Now though, the CR10 branded element itself stands for a Bowden extruder for a machine that, that has a larger build volume that can produce quality models. And so, you know, the evolution of the design is there. It is there. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. It wants, it wants, oh, it wants those. Okay. Well, I'm glad I found these extra screws. And it wants them in the back. Ooh. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, shimmy, shimmy. I'm thankful that I'm strong because that's heavy. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. Okay. Uh, take a look. <laughs> so this is one of the first ones out of the factory, I would imagine. And uh, right there, you see that? Yes. Okay, that is uh, that is damage to the frame in the factory. Oh, look at that. Yeah, nothing bad. I, I like it's uh, it, it's not going to turn into a demon and slay me at night because of that. I think uh, there's I don't know. There, there's just some some. It looks like it got hit. Oh yeah, take a look at this side. Right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. My guess is, uh, being one of the first off the line, it probably, um, it's the same. it was probably rushed. Yeah, it's in the same spot. I just, I'm, yeah, same side. spot on either side. Yeah. I did notice though. Here, have a look at this. I'm sorry, I gotta keep turning it. <laughs> look at that. Where, where is it? Right, right there. That's an Ethernet port. Nice. That's an Ethernet port on a CR10 from is the Reality. Power, is that the power button next to it? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, this is refined. This is cool. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of liking this. So let's let's get the rods on. Listen, some. Okay, I'll get the rods on, then I'll go back. Okay. I promise. I promise. I swear. <laughs> like the moon and the stars in the sky. Right? Yeah, you'll be there. I'll be there. Better. I won't say. I don't want to get demonetized. Although it wouldn't, it would have to recognize the song I'm singing, <laughs> and I think that's going to happen. Uh, huh, huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember when Creality started introducing these as uh, standard elements on their large format machines. I know the CR10S Pro has them. Uh, the CR10 Max has them. Does the S uh, Pro have it? Yeah. I have an S Pro, and I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <It's laughs> Must suck getting old. Yeah. There we go. Get that. Uh, 
Let's see, one more little twisty turny. How to do it. Stay on target. I'm trying. There we go. Nice. I'm just easing them in at first, and then, you know, I'll tighten everything down. Sure. Oh, so where the discolor or where the discoloration is, uh, looks to be right where uh, you attach the supports. So my guess is oh. most likely uh, when they were tapping the holes into the extrusion for the screws, they must have. Uh... Well, I don't know the way that the that damage. Do they already attach those? Because it kind of looks like Let's go. Wait, which the way metal. The metal from the. The, ex the extrusions or the, the supports is what's oh, what's causing the outside? It. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I do not know. Okay. Oh, it goes on the outside. Well, I got some chats there to catch up with. I, I promise. Know, I know, man. I promise. I'll get there. I will. So the, the support looks like it hits, it hits the, uh, what is that? That's going to be the filament sensor. It hits the plug on the filament sensor when it's at the top. Hmm. It doesn't look like it gets in the way. That's good. But it hits it. Because that would not be smart. Right. <laughs> right. Tightened up. Cool. Get in there. So it's interesting. The uh, okay. Yeah, I think. I think this machine was probably put together to be tested, and then they took it apart. And uh, I think these supports maybe were put on a little bit too hard. I said. Or something. Did you say that? That's exactly what I said. You get the gold star. <laughs> okay. Good job. But, you know, I'm on my own path to discovery. Yeah. Sean. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I'm probably past the eight-minute mark. <laughs> I think so. So what we could do, just to... Well, I don't think I could... I'm thinking I could move it a little bit, but I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. There we go. That'll bring it that way. But I'll bring it down? Yeah. I don't know if I can bring it down too far. Okay. Not a little bit far. I, I don't think it gets in the way. Okay. I don't, I don't think. There we go. Well, that's connected. Okay, let's check it out. You guys sent a bunch of chats. I'm going to make sure... I didn't miss anything. I wonder if they get tracked right over here. Oh, they do. Oh, nice. Fantastic. Uh, it's not getting them all. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back. <laughs> you missed a lot. I know. Uh, let's see, am I? I want to get back to where I was. Okay, Eddie Mosier talking about the right extruder being evil and then onomatopoeia. Uh, Hybotics, let's see, Hybotics Geek Guy. Hey, Joel, I'm going to be getting my first 3D printer soon. It's largely due to you and your great content. I will probably get an Ender 3 V2. A great choice. That mm -hmm. is a good machine. It gives you a lot of the feature set of the CR6 SE, but in a lower price. I think you're going to, I think you're going to really like it. Uh, and go, go follow Chuck. Uh, Chuck Hellebuck's Electronic Products or Filament Friday. Uh, they all reach him. He is the, the Ender Whisperer, I like to call him. I think, uh, I think following him would be in a good idea for you. Brian Vines, with quite possibly the most majestic mane of hair, mm -hmm. $5.99. With $900 in sales on the many working toilets, BTR Plumbing is flush with success. <laughs> Whew. Uh, Whew. Yikes. Whew, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Brian! Those dad jokes. 
Dave Randolph with forty nine ninety nine. David Randolph, rubber baby buggy bumper. Oh, I see what you did there. Nice. Cam Williams, nine ninety nine. Hey Joel, I love the streams. I've been watching your channel for a while now, and you convinced me to buy my first three D printer, an Ender three V two. I love it so far, and thank you for getting me into 3D printing. Well, Cam, thank you for the 999. That's really kind of you. And I'm really happy to hear that you're having a lot of fun with your Ender 3 V2. And I can't wait for you to print more stuff, because I hope you tag me if you share it socially. And I'd love to see it. Phil Nolan. Oh, Phil, how you doing, man? That's tenor. That's two fives. I'm setting up Ender 3 V2 for my... Ch it's Everybody's got an Ender 3 V2. This is great yeah. for my channel, but one of the cables was broken in the package. The seller, Comgro, is replacing it, but taking their time. Oh, I hate that. Is it, a, is it a cable you could fashion yourself or order somewhere else? I'm just wondering. Like, if, if waiting a month for a cable or paying five bucks for it is, will get it to you quicker? I, I just, it depends on the cable, but, I mean, the Ender 3 V2, there should be a lot of options for acquiring parts for it. Uh... So I mean, try to reach out. See if you can see if you can find it somewhere else. Try to source it somewhere else. Oh, I missed another one. Wait, where is it? Hybotics, three dollars and fourteen cents. Three point one four nine five nine two seven five. The Pi mm, song? Mm, no? Mm. no, no. Your no, channel is awesome, and I watch all the time. You are awesome. I missed one right. right You're breathtaking. That. I think <laughs> is the proper way to say it, right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Well, Cam Williams with the buck ninety nine. Mm. I love your rainbowy. Kind of avatar. That looks cool. Don't forget our super chats. I sure didn't. Uh, Ooh, drag strip farm. Drag strip farm. Three dollars and eleven cents. Know that we have a. Know that we have always been down, down. <laughs> Are we singing three eleven now? Because no, that's awesome. Well, just let me thank you now. It's, it's great. Da -na 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 but -na 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 you missed one, one from BTR plumbing. I'm getting there. No, it was you, you skipped over it. I did? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. Okay. It was, it was before the pie. A beach are following. There it is. $4.99. By the way, I even have a website where you choose what type of toilet and size you want. We have urinals as well. I emailed you. <laughs> I am so thankful for today. I just got an email about working miniature 3D printed toilets. Like, I mean, I've had a good day, but it just got better. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Max Franco, ARS 50, with 50 R's. R. I don't know what an R's is, but thank you for the 50 of them. Have you tried the CRL002R resin printer? Is it worth it? I haven't yet. Look at Andrew's sink. I believe he has, I think. Is that the $99 one? I'm not sure. I have the new Halo T, Halot, Halot. The, the new uh, Creality resin printer where they talk about the, the new light source. Um, I have that. And it's still in the box. I haven't tried it yet. But I haven't tried this one. Sorry. But there are others out there that have, I believe. Uh, Kale with a fiver. Thanks for everything you do. I got my first printer four years ago. A CR10. Contextual. I like it. And now <laughs> have four printers most recently and any cubic Mono X. Mono X is great. Uh, the Mono X, for me, the Mono X has been more reliable than the Elgu Saturn. I'm not trashing the Saturn by any means, but I'm just saying, of the prints that I've done, the Mono X has been more reliable than the Saturn. Hydration time. Boy, that was a lot of talking. I'm sorry. All right. Supports are on. Now, uh, the next step in the process is the spool holder. Ugh. It's probably one of my favorite parts. It's my least favorite part. Is it? Because it involves T-nuts. I hate T-nuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I need my... Is it this one? Probably. Yes. Okay. I believe it goes in right here. They don't make this easy to reach. That's what I'm saying. But it's okay. I will make do. Will you? Will you make do? Okay, 
talk for a while for one Ugh. minute. What? Not you missed some. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get That's there. No, okay. I promise. I'm just, just teasing. You did miss some of it. I'm sure I did. Yeah, yeah. I need a little uh, like Zach Freeman of Void Star Labs. He's got the, um, he's got the like the Google Glass type display, the the homebrew one, and that's where he uh, keeps his scripts. I saw it on uh, the the Prusa Live stream, and uh, oh, so you want it this way, right? I don't know. How do they like it? So it's attached that way, so it can go to the back, and then okay, yeah, they want it out this way. Ooh, ooh, it's on a roller. Look at that. Do nice. you see that? Yeah. Like it's on a oh roller. Yes, yes. I much, much like that. Uh, I have to attach the screen now. It didn't tell me how to do that. It, uh, according to the instructions, the screen comes attached. <laughs> so give me a moment. Here, I'll try to turn it so you can see it. Thank you. And then, uh, and then we'll go back to the super chats. So this is the screen right here. Oh, Glorious. Good. I don't think there's anything special to it. I don't. Um, some tape. I'm just gonna take it off right here. There we go. Mm -hmm. uh, have a look right here. You see that? Yeah. That is a Y belt tensioner. In Love fact, it. we have an X tensioner up there. So this is good. This way you can tension your belts. Uh, without any tools. That's great. Okay, now I gotta plug something in. Let's see if I can. Man, my hands are too big for this. <laughs> so it looks like. Um, can you see the the holes right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they got the little notch at the top. So it looks like it goes on and then notches down. Mm -hmm. There we go. You know, it actually looks really good. <laughs> that looks really good right there. Wow. Uh, now we are to the connect the cables. So connecting the cables allows us to get to the part where we print things. I like that. We're gonna take off the glass. I'm gonna take off the glass. <laughs> Do I have to? It's still a glass build plate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Nah, there's, there's plenty of people who are able to solve this problem sure. from the factory. Because if it comes with a flexible build plate from the factory, it means that uh, you're stuck with that and it's probably harder to remove. I think by doing glass, A, it reduces the cost, and B, it allows you a path for easy upgradability in the future, should you need it. That's fair. But that said, That's good uh, slap, a, <laughs> slap a flexible build plate on this thing. Okay. I'm just going to set this to the side because it, it told me to in the instructions. What is, there's so many things. Okay. It wants me to push it all the way back. Okay, we're all the Check. way back. And, oh, okay. There we go. Is that tape on there? Honestly, how do you, how do you think this is eight minutes to put together? <laughs> well, I mean, we're doing it on a live stream. Oh, I know. So it takes longer. I know. Oh, I know. I have to move it forward so I can access these. Okay. Ah. ah, so this has dual Z motors. Nice. I like that. If we were at Chuck's, you would just remove that. Chuck is not a fan of dual Z, <laughs> and he has his reasons. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, if this has dual Z and it works, then fantastic. That's all I'm saying. Over 
Okay, get in there. Oh. This is the last one. And this is, uh, well, here, I will nope. turn it towards you. I want you to see this. Okay. So, right up here. Nope. Yep. We have these. Huh? Huh. So we got a slightly larger cable, I think. Yeah, good. I was like, oh, if they're so both the same size. Oh, it's, it's all in one. That's really going to suck. <laughs> so we got a smaller cable and a bigger cable. Mm. Well, this two. is going to provide power and stuff to the hot end. Uh, obviously, I don't know the ratings on the wires. So that's something we have to consider. But, uh, but right now, that's a clean and tidy way to put it all together. The I think the cables clips. are connected. Okay, jeez. That's heavy, too. It's heavy. Okay, what did I miss? Lots. There's Chef. Look at that. There's Chuck. Nice. Dualsy is okay if driven correctly. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. I'm just referring to the one time that I went to Chuck's and I had two Z motors going there and I had one when I left. That's true. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, Kenneth Abar with a fiver. Reminder for Chad, if you change playback to 2X, you'll catch up the lag that YouTube adds to those late in the stream. He's got, that's a good point. With a heart, high five. Thank you, Kenneth. It's very kind of you. And I, I, good tip. Don Banks, $5.97. Loves me my Joel time. Thank you, Don Banks. That's really kind of you. $5.97. That's a high five and change. I like that. Dragstip Farm is a new member here on YouTube. Uh, you could become a YouTube member, actually. I think it's, uh, it's down there somewhere. It's like, Become a member or pledge or, I don't know, there's some sort of verb type word down there. And uh, you, can, you can support via Patreon or the YouTube membership or via my website. But then you get access to After the Five. It's the show I produce after the show. And we talk about cool things. Like I just, I just did one on the Anycubic Wash and Cure. And I gave you some behind the scenes information that no one else knew when they watched the video. It was actually kind of fun. Justin Ritchie with a fiver. Haven't caught a stream in a while. Thanks for the content. Have a beer on me. Thank you, yes. Justin. I appreciate you and that beer you just gave me. <laughs> Christopher Sellers with a $25 tip. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for all the great content. Currently working on 3D printing a wind turbine that can generate energy with a stepper motor. Having fun and hope to tag you on some of the photos when done. Please do. I'm very, very interested in this because I have spare stepper motors. I think this would be a really fun project. Uh, in fact, we're getting solar at my house, and so I'm, all, I'm, I'm into, you know, green types of energy. I think it's fun to investigate. Dragstip Farm with a fiver. Yours is the first channel I ever became a member of. Thanks for the great content and fun streams. High five, my friend. Thank you. Zoot with a fiver. The hot end looks like a spaceship. Spaceship? Yeah. Uh, I'll turn it around here in a moment, and, and we will confirm. Yeah. But, but I'm looking at it right now, and I want to say you're not wrong. And emotion with a fiver. Roller. Coaster of love. <laughs> oh, God. I wish I could peek inside Eddie's brain sometimes, but I think it would be really messy. <laughs> Ryan Payton with $2.34. It's 234. That's in a sequence. This is for Sean's camera work today. Spot on. <laughs> Aw, thanks. It's worth $2.34. <laughs> Jeffrey Trotter, new member. Thank you for that, Jeffrey. Nice. BTR Plumbing, one ninety nine. Thank you for making my night. Hope you like the website. It's miniature 3D printed toilets. How can I not like that? Honestly, you've made my night. <laughs> Samuel Williams, the founding father. Founding father. Jeez, where are my words? Words are hard. I'm missing them. That hole in the back of the screen is called a keyhole. The more you know. Thank you. Uh, I knew there was a term for it that wasn't the term that I used. <laughs> it's a keyhole. It's a keyhole. keyhole. Yeah, it's a, it's a keyhole. It is time to turn it on. You missed some. Almost sounded like a uh, Gomer Pyle there. Golly gee. You missed two. Two. Really? Yes. Okay. I apologize. Is Ahmed Uzan for a dollar. Ahmed Uzan for a dollar. Thank you, Ahmed Uzan. And then one more. And then there's one down there. That's right. Uh, Derek Sorello. Five ninety nine. dollars Are you out of your mind? Should I be waiting for the CR10 Smart Mini? <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't know. That's actually a really good question because Creality, typically uh, they made the CR10 Mini and that was a success. I know Chuck 
Film It Friday, Chuck loves the CR10 Mini. Uh, if they miniaturize this and then brought the price lower, it's co that could be like a doorbuster. That that might be a that might be a good idea. Wouldn't need the supports. <sighs> yeah, but you know what? They look cool. The supports are cool. I like it. Instagibius, gibbous, instagibbous with a fiber. Just finished my enclosure for my under three. Good to have some peace and quiet. Thanks for the vids. Thank you for the fiber, instagibbous. And you have a picture of a moon. So is, is gibbous like a, uh, a state of the moon? Yes. Or like a, okay. Well, waxing and waning is the, yeah. You're waxing and waning. I am. <laughs> Gene Master 74, new member. Thank you very much. AGB question, one, two, three, four. That's $12.34. <laughs> it's in a sequence. I like sequences. Me too. They're fun. They're a lot of fun. Michael Elston with a fiver, having a blast with my Vox Lab Aquila. Pretty much an Ender clone. Have you reviewed one? No, no. Uh, like hundreds of people have reached out to me and it's like, Joel, have you played with the, uh, the Vox Lab Aquila or Aquia or whatever you want to call it? And I'm like, no, I haven't. I haven't. Vox Lab has not reached out. I will try to reach out to them. I will try to find a contact. But if anybody knows anybody at Voxel Lab, let them know. I would like to take it in and evaluate it because everybody and their mother has told me they either have it, want it, or need me to test it. In that order. Like, just like that. $5.99 from Michael Grugel. That is fix some dude! Fix some dude! Nice. Five ninety nine Beverages for Sean, too. Aw. Aw. Thank you. Aw. I like, I like bevies. Aw. Okay, I'm gonna... I want to see that. Dougal with a Canadian 279. Pros and cons of stock firmware and open source. Um... <laughs> Well, the, the, okay, hold on. So, Reaction. stock firmware isn't inherently the opposite of open source. Stock firmware just means it's the firmware that the manufacturer provides with the machine. Like your car, your toaster, your oven, your printer, your, your boat. I don't know, people have boats. If there's a computer on board, the firmware provided by the manufacturer is called the stock firmware. Open source review, um, refers to the, the nature of producing something where it's, uh, it, is, it is shared within the community under certain provisions. So stock firmware can be open source and shared, and open source firmware can be stock firmware. Like Marlin is open source, and you'll find that being the stock firmware of a lot of different 3D printers. You also find that a lot of different 3D printers use Marlin as their stock firmware, which is open source, but don't adhere to the guidelines that you have to follow in order to use Marlin, an open source firmware. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a drama channel. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> I think if I put it this way, we can both enjoy spaceship. this machine. So have a look. That's the spaceship. spaceship. That's a spaceship. Yeah. God, that view on it. Look at that. With the purpley blue kind of <laughs> uh, underneath it. I like it. Like, that's sci-fi right there. Wait, hold on. Hold that shot right there. Okay, if someone's watching, I hope you're watching. Why does it say? Hold on. Hold on. Can I? Hold on. Uh. Nope. There we go. No, go back. Go back. Ah, back. Yeah, yeah, get back. I had to do something. <laughs> okay. First of all, it's sponsored by Thanks, and they sponsored one of the last streams, not this one. So leave it right there. Okay, someone, someone clip that. So someone take a screen grab of this screen right here because it looks kind of sci-fi. It looks kind of cool. And here's what I want you to do. After the stream is over or during the stream, if you want to watch the stream while you do this, load up some sort of image editing software. And I want you to Photoshop this. I want you to add flames or a nose cone or you know a sci-fi scene. And I want you to tweet it out. And I want you to tag me. I'm at Joel Telling on the Twitters. Uh, I have a Facebook page. I'm on Instagram. Uh, I'm on the TikToks, like all the cool kids. Put it back! Oh, my gosh. Put it back. How long do they need? I don't know, but I'm, okay. I mean, <laughs> just right. in case. Okay, right. so this right here, this right here. Screen capture this, edit it in some way, Photoshop it in some way, and then tag me. I really love this. I love how this looks. I love how this looks. And then uh, if you tag me on the Twitters, uh, I'll try to, I'll take a look at them after the stream and maybe retweet you. If it's cool, okay, on me. If it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, you know, it looked cool. It was one of those things where I thought it was neat and it gave us an opportunity to be creative. And 
a lot of people are able to watch a stream or listen to a stream while they're doing something else. And so, oh God, I just gave you homework. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but, but it's cool. It's cool. Uh, the glass has that, uh, that sort of um, texture on it that everybody has on their glass plates now. Oh, looking at, uh, chat. Looking at chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a chat? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Get in there or what? Well, the, these are a little low, so I'm trying to figure out how to get the glass back in there. Okay, it's in there. Um, I have to lift it up a little bit. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Oh, 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 get it. Do it. Oh, oh. Do it. Get in the... Oh, I used my finger now. Ooh. I don't know if that was a good idea, but yeah, it worked. That was not fun. Okay. I know I'm missing some, some things, but you know what? Okay, there we you go. got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Get a flex plate. Seriously, if you're going to run this <laughs> machine, get a flex plate. But will it fit if you put it That's on that awesome. Oh, my goodness. Some of the ones I've missed. What in the heck? Okay, that's that one. Oh, so BTR Plumbing, $199. You can find it at minitoiletshop.com. There we go. I just made all your nights. Minitoiletshop.com. Actually, go there. <laughs> you know what? Take, take, take your time. It sounds like it's a really cool site. <laughs> uh, Andrew Rogers, $9.99. Are you out of your mind? Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, W-O-C-E-S, John B. with a fiver. Five for a high five, just got a CR10 V3. Should I upgrade it with the BL Touch? Is it worth it? If you have problems currently, if the current way of doing things uh, doesn't work for you, or you find that you keep needing to re-level things, or your prints are failing, or, or you just want to tinker, yes, go for it. Like, those are the reasons to do it. If everything's working fine, like if you're five nines excited about it and you're just running away printing everything, and and you and and it's and it's fine then there's really no need to upgrade it because it's already providing everything you need i get the feeling you're a tinkerer though so uh it's it's an inexpensive addition that provides a lot of really cool functionality i would say do it i would say do it loyal moses with a 50 dollars and he says nerd look at that look at that yeah. represent huh there it is <laughs> love you loyal thanks man <laughs> uh, Baloo with A5. It says A. So is that Aussie? I'm going to say it's Aussie 5. Maybe. Maybe? Aussie 5? I don't know. But thank you for that. That is really kind of you. Patrick Casey with two bucks. Brinhead seems to say Luke. Uh, Luke, I am your father. Oh, no. There we go. No. Yeah. Demonetized. <laughs> you, you missed uh, Pagan Wizard? Pagan Wizard. Right after Loyal. What? You skipped over Pagan Wizard. I did? Yeah. And, and... Well, you know, the scroll is Brian Vines. The, the scroll is fast. Pagan was with a fiver. I like it, but I think I'll wait for the CR10 Smart Max <laughs> with a 500 cube build capability. That's like the dream. You could you could print the world with that. Like yeah. the literal world. Like you'd have to that's the size of Mars. <laughs> it's, it's huge. Mm. Brian Vines, 999. Are you out of your gorgeous mind, Brian? So you can flex the build plate to get the print off, but you can only do it once. <laughs> I don't know if it if it breaks. Is it flexing or is it just uh, exerting your dominance over it? I don't I don't know what the correct word is there. Baloo, oh, you, with an A five, you you deleted your message. I'm sorry. Okay, so that's the one I said. Ah, here we go. J T Shellac with a fiver. High five. I don't know if I should have done that, but it worked. Story of my <laughs> life. <laughs> yeah, you know sometimes you end up doing something, uh, you're not sure if you should have done it, and then and then you're done, and you're like. I don't know if that was the right move, but it sure worked great. So, yeah, good. David Wilson, 75? What? 75, David Wilson with a cute dog as a photo. I have a fan mail Friday package there for you to open. Ooh. Okay. Well, it's either behind me or at my P.O. box is my guess. That's exciting. David Wilson. <laughs> Glendon, new member. Thank you very much. And hi, Botics Geek Guy. There it is. What? Dollar ninety nine. Oh, Hybotics. 
Buck 99. There you are. Thank you, geek guy. One just came in. I like it. Glenn in there. And that what? One just came in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scrolling. Nice. Jeff Staten with a fiver. Just got an Ender 6 put together today. Works great so far. Any plans to test this machine? Would be curious on what you would think for upgrades. Let's see. The Ender 6. The Ender 6. Is that the... Which one is that? <laughs> I have the Sir Moon D1. Is the Ender 6 that big boxy one? Or is that the Ender 5? No, that's the Ender 5 Pro. It's Ender 6. Five. Yeah, it's Ender 5. I don't, I don't know the Ender 6. I don't, I don't know that one. I'll have to look that up. But maybe... But maybe. I think we're okay, did I get through? I got through it! Okay. Nice. Thank you, everybody. I did my best. Uh, uh, listen, just a moment. For hydration. For Narnia. <laughs> for Narnia. Oh. Mmm. <sighs> mm. Whether or not that is artisanal water or if it's tap water, it's good water. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's plugged in. Oh, I'm gonna move this back. Sean, can you see the screen right there? Yeah. I'm gonna turn it on. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, focus, focus. Oh wait, I have to hit the power button. <laughs> <laughs> Are you plugged in? Did you do it right? Did I miss something? I plugged in all the cables. Is it pop? Do I have to hold it down? Maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah, you hold it down. Okay. Creality, CR10 Smart. Loading up. Okay. Awesome! Mm, color screen. Look at that! Ah, oh, now we're cooking with gas. Let's do this. The fan in here is um, a little loud, not overbearing. Sean, how does it sound back to you? Because I'm right near it. Uh, it's it's fine. I, I, it's, it sounds like a fan. Yeah, it sounds like a fan, but you know, uh, it could be quieter. That's for sure. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put the drawer back in just because it was crying and it needs it. Oh, it's magnetic. Beautiful. Look at ready, ready. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Leveling. Automatic leveling. Oh, that noise. Is that the... Uh, it's... Hot it's, end fan? Uh, maybe. So now it is going to warm up the nozzle to 120C. Yep, that's the hot end fan. Okay, here we go. Oh, while it's working, I just want to... Ready? Ready? Let's see. Mm, ready? Ready? Wait, here you are. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, I didn't do the, the fun noise. It didn't. Didn't do the fun noise. That's okay. That's okay. Is it? No. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's going across. Okay. So, so I believe because it was at the very, very top. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, see the, it's cattywampus. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's cattywampus. So if I'm looking at it. Ah, uh, maybe not. I was going to say, I don't think so. No, it actually looks okay. <laughs> so I have glasses. Do they work? I have, um, first of all, look at, this is me without glasses. Like, like I know, you should be scared. And my glasses are terrible. Like, I need new glasses, but I have uh, progressives. So it's like glass at the top, because my distance vision is okay, because I've had, I've had cataract surgery in both eyes. So I have interocular implants in both my eyes. Nice. I'm part cyborg. I love it. Uh, not as much as Naomi. You're right. It's just my eyes. Uh, but my glasses are progressive in that they are continually higher powered the lower you go because I want to be able to see you. And then when I look down or I want to read or something, I need a little bit extra. I'm old. Get off my lawn. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, it's still light outside. Love it. It's eight o'clock and it's light outside. Like, remember when it used to be 3.30 and it was dark? Dark, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You got eyes on it? No. Yes. Okay. So this is supposed to do the auto leveling. Can you do picture in picture? Yes. Perfect. So this is supposed to do the auto leveling like the CR6 where it touches the nozzle to the build plate. Okay, and it's doing it. There is a little bit of flex to the hot end as it pushes down at first to get that first measurement. And then when it goes to the second one, there is very little or no flex. Mm. But what's great is if that is consistent across all points measured, then that is something you can take into account. Here's where I'm curious too. Um, the CR6 has a community firmware that's been put together by some pretty talented people. And uh, it's, it's really made the CR6 a lot better. And I'm willing to bet the same could be done for this machine and we could have a community firmware for it. You know what else improved the CR6 SE? Hmm. The, uh, oh, it didn't do this, it didn't do this oh. bad. That's weird. Uh, it says probe failed. Oh. Pro probing failed. Okay. I wanted this to be a chill stream. <laughs> you cursed it. Um, Do we have to reset it? I have to power cycle it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, the CR6 SE just had a profile released in Prusa Slicer, and it works really well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good. Do you have a CR6 SE? No, for a couple friends of mine. Oh. Have, yeah. Did they buy it using I, my affiliate link? I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me power this bad boy on. Let's try that again. I like it. Uh, K's Kitsune, manually level the bed. No. no. <laughs> that's not the point? No, that, that's not the point of this machine. The point of this machine is to do the auto bed leveling. Let's try it again. Oh, my accountant is calling. So while we're waiting, I'll tell her I can't chat right now. Got some chats and stuff. Once you're- Oh, able, I'll go to the chats, okay. You, yeah, while, while it's doing this, yeah. Sorry, uh, my accountant is doing accountant things. So let me, let me read some. <laughs> let me read some of these chats. Okay, um, that was the last one. So now we go to RCCNC with nine ninety nine. Are you out of your mind? Fist bump, boom. Keep up the great content. Thank you. Technomatic six 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 with a tenor. That's two fives. Does this model look easily upgradable? I have a Dragon hot end in my CR10 V3 and it was a relative pain to upgrade. Will I be able to do the same with this model, do you think? And is this direct drive? No, this is, um, this is the standard Creality Bowden setup. And I don't know about the hot end, but the hot end with auto leveling in it might make uh, installing a new hot end a little difficult. I'm not sure, I haven't taken it apart. Just got out of the box. So I don't know for sure. Alien 3D's in, hey party people. Hip. Hybotics, Geek Guy, 1099. My 3D printer will just be a few feet from my bed, so noise is an issue. Other than an enclosure, is there any way to quiet an Ender 3 V2? Is there another printer that might be better for me? Um, you could replace the fans on the inside with Noctua fans, which are going to be lower CFM. Oh, it, it failed again. at the same spot, didn't it? Um, you could... Uh, Let's see, you could, 
What would be another way to do it? Um, now, the problem is you're always going to have a fan cooling off the electronics, and that is, is the problem there. So a lot of times, stepper movements can be silent. Um, the hot-end fan can be kind of quiet, but the fans cooling the electronics are sometimes going to be the loudest. Cooling the electronics and the power supply fan. And so if you can figure out ways to cool that down, that's your ticket. Or you put it in an enclosure. Is there a way to level this bed? Like manually? Like maybe maybe the maybe the bed's not No. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, no, there's not. There is not a, a manual well, there probably is. Not an easy way though. Richard Bird with a fiver. Oh, and a mic drop. I like that. Eddie Mosher with a two. Joel is Caddy Wampus. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> hey, Naomi's in the chat. How's it going? I'm hoping this isn't a train wreck. Well, well. <laughs> we're time to replace the stepper driver. Brian Vines, 599. Oh my gosh, the chats. I'm sorry, it's scrolled. Daniel Pentecost, 567. Another set of numbers. Progressives were the biggest joke on my parents' generation. Don't fall for it. They should just call them nothing in focus lenses. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. David Quaz, uh, Quazchnik, $5. High five. It was the right side bed back. It was the right one. Eddie was right. Oh, Eddie. Uh. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, Eddie. Okay, Omar Al Amada with a 499. Are you out of your mind? Yep. Out of your mind. Okay. Robert George with a dollar, but the message which was retracted. Uh, back, uh, bed flexed and back right corner. Check the bolts. Okay. Uh, so BTR thinking. Plumbing, thanks y'all for looking at my website. Can't wait to hear from you. Joel, would you like to show one of mini toilets on your next video stream? Uh, I don't know. We'll chat about that later. I kind of like that. I want to get this going though. But BTR Plumbing, I do love you and your mini toilet idea. Okay, so someone said the bed flexed, is that right? Yeah, that's, yep. Okay, I mean, there's a little bit of, oh, look at that. Okay. That's not great. It looks like the bed is not, um, is not uh, tight against the, uh, the, the extrusion rails here. So, wait, there we go. Yeah. So now what we need to do is just tighten the eccentric nuts. There's one. Right. Found it. <laughs> Sound like Steve Irwin. Also, Kano. Have you watched the new Mortal Kombat? I did. Don't spoil it if people <laughs> haven't seen it. I just love Kano. Oh, yeah. Okay, look at that. A uh, little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, in the back. Oh, balls. Okay. Ooh, okay. Find it? Yeah. I think so. Oh, that was the wrong way. <laughs> Sometimes. No, okay. So was I going the right way? In the... I don't know. Oh yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. That's not moving. Oh, yeah, now we're cooking with gas. Okay. Again. Oh, so, again, 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 we'll do it again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mike Vanderbunt, eccentric nuts, is Joel's Huvand. What is that? What is that? Or is it, did I say that night? House, house Vand? <laughs> that sounds like an American <laughs> way of saying a French word. Yep. <laughs> is it, is it Huvand? Okay, we got some, I mean, the bed's on tight. Like, it flows, but. Yeah, look at it. We don't, we don't got movement. I think yeah, we're that, good. That's way better than it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Crikey. There we go. Stop. Robert George with two bucks. Adjust them all. The hot end looked loose. Um. That's actually really interesting. So on a printer like this, it uses the hot end to probe the bed, and the hot end itself is what's making contact with the bed in order to judge the height at which the bed is, or the you know how far away it is from the zero point of the nozzle, I guess is a, maybe a way to say it. So the hot end itself has to be a little 
loose. It's like a it's like a, a strain gauge ish sort of thing, and so it has to push against it in order to get that measurement. Yeah. And uh, once it, it to do that, it has to be a little bit loose going in that direction. Not loose in like wiggly woo woo, but but loose, but s properly loose. Did I just woo? Yeah, you did, man. That was that was fun. Thanks. Ryan with Canadian 2, will Prusa ever make an XL big volume printer? <laughs> That's, wow, yes. I mean, the Prusa is actually making something called the Prusa XL. Yep. It's in their blog. Clairvoyant you are. I like you. It's good. Naomi, if you're still in the chat, I just want to thank you for stopping by. Uh, it's really kind of you. Uh, I hope one day we do get to meet. Uh, in China, and I'd love you to take me to some tasty food somewhere. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yes. Once it's safe to travel. Yeah. We almost went to China. Right before pandemic. <laughs> almost. Let's see. Robert George. Did I, uh, there is the... Oh, Ryan. Robert George. I got that one. Okay. Uh, I think the last one you need the to... Mixer the Mixer 2000. Yep. Yep. It's like a, a future name. $10. Thank you for that. That's two fives. You and Sean deserve a high five and a snack. Aww. Aw. Thank you. Sean's got go. a snack over there. Here we go. Nice. Yeah! <laughs> yes! That felt good. I don't know. I, know. I mean, I'm not trying to be silent, but that just felt good. That felt really good. We are level. Well. We are level. <laughs> I was waiting for it. That's the best part. <laughs> uh, what does it say now? Print. Method one. Oh, I see. Prepare. Oh, this is interesting. So the instructions itself uh, in color, well-written instructions uh, are in English and Chinese at the same time. So it actually gives it to you English. There's English at the top and Chinese at the bottom on these ones or, or English on the left, Chinese on the right on this one. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. Uh, it's all upside down to me. Setting, oh, prepare, okay. So, back, back, uh, prepare, set up, prepare, set up. Oh, it's ready on this one. It says prepare in the manual. That's fine, and then, let's see, we're really low to the preheat PLA. Okay, just like in the CR6, um, I, like I hit preheat PLA, but it doesn't do anything until I go back out. And then I can, I can see on here what it's doing. Hmm. Which is fine as long as you're used to it. Right. Load filament. <laughs> Printed toilet is first pr test print from Cam Williams for $4.99. What's that? Cam Williams, $4.99. Four well, I'll get there. Oh, okay. I'll get there. I'm sorry. Okay. Ugh. Do it. Do it. I'm going to get out a... Wait, wait, did it come with clippers? Did it come with clippers? It did! Okay, tiny ones. Oh, wow. Little tiny ones. Wait, is there a... Little baby ones. Oh, and it's got a lock on it. What? Wow. That's actually really cool. It's like a little bird. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Okay. Cut at an angle. Oh, it smells warm. You know that, that uh, electronics heating up for the first time smell? Yes. It smells like that. That's fun. Ugh. Okay. Cut it to 45. Good. Put it in. All the way. What is that? What is the current? see. Oh, the extrusion spring. Okay. Oh, I got just a sec. I got to send this to my... I gotta send this to my accountant. No texting it, is a, it is a jam packed night. No texting while working. I just I just <laughs> texted my accountant and told her a code. Okay, here we go. I'm feeding the PLA in. So now it says once it's coming out the nozzle, we should be good. Sean, do you have a look at that? I do now. Okay, here we go. 
soon. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Oh, looks like it was tested with black PLA. Oh. Um, I'm going to, let's see, temperature, language, no, move, uh, Z. There we go. <laughs> Careful with that. Don't Got clip it. the nozzle. No, no, no. Look at that. You can see the, the fan kind of blowing on it. You can. Okay, well, we got some PLA out. Do we have anything to clean the bed with? <laughs> a lot of IPA at the apartment. Uh, oh, wait, I got IPA in my little cleaning container thing. Um, you need paper towels? Do you have any paper towel? Mm. <laughs> How about toilet paper? Why is there toilet paper here? Oh, because uh, when I had allergies? Oh, that's bad, right? Uh, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey, wait. When I had allergies, I had to blow my nose. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get some isopropyl alcohol, and we're just going to wipe down the bed just a little bit, and that will... Huh. Um, there we go. And that will make it so that the bed will be nice and clean. You were not there. Did you just throw it at me? <laughs> no, I threw it where I thought you were, and then you were not there. You threw it towards me. Yes. This is pretty fresh IPA. Ooh, it's a lot of IPA. I know. It takes a lot. Like, there must be a chemical that isn't IPA that's in abundance, and it's cheap, that we could use for uh, cleaning off resin prints. There's got to be something. And I know people talk about mean green, but come on. You need some sort of... Uh, alcohol in order to react or to um, what is it to to break down the resin, right? Yeah. <laughs> and oh, I guess I should have gotten a lint-free cloth. <laughs> so if you look, I mean, it got some some ickiness off, right? Just a little bit, but. Sure. Um, uh, the build plate itself, because it has that texture on it, it's going to be better to use a lint-free cloth instead of paper towels. Also, I, ooh, I can smell it over here, man. I can smell you over here. That's fair. It smells like roses. Mm. <laughs> I think we're at the part where it should print, right? I've got the SD card here. Yeah, so again, we're not going to test the Wi-Fi printing of this tonight because uh, we'll save that for a future video but tonight what I wanted to do was test the silent stepper drivers and I wanted to test the auto leveling. The auto leveling works. We verified that. Now what we're going to do is put the SD card into the oversized SD card hole. Are you sure? Oh, look at that. that. No, no, no. It goes in just fine. I'm just, I'm just looking at the, the size of it. It I, looks... I can't see it. It's behind the screen. Oh, is it behind the screen? Yep. A little turn there. So... Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> it's heavy. So you look. This I is where it is, though. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. So this is the hole where the SD card goes. And, I mean, you know that's where it goes. It's, it's easy to see. But that looks like, um, it's like where I'd put my quarters to start a video game. <laughs> yes. Like, it is. That's... I like that. I, that's, that's an attention to detail that I like right there. It's not just a slot. Like, it's... It's good. It's good. Okay. It's the little things. <laughs> it's heavy. Let's print something. Yeah? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> okay. Do you, um, a, do you need a laptop? So, um, would you grab my... It's right there. Huh? Would you grab my laptop for me? Sure. <laughs> Let's take a look at the SD card and see what's going on. So it could be that the G codes aren't in the root directory. Why is this always the case? But it's always the case. I know. It's always the case, yeah. Uh, Ugh, it's an apple. 
I also need the uh, the adapter because it's a Mac and Macs need adapters. That's right. That's right. I have a PC. It's just not here with me. It's going to be in one of the two little slots. Yeah. There we go. So let's take a look. Again, my guess. Oh, look at that. My email is right here, and I've got an email from BTR Plumbing. <laughs> Beautiful. Such a, such a good day. It's a good day. Okay. Um... Take a look at some chats when you can, too. Sure. I'll when have some done? time here in a moment, I promise, done? because... When, when, um, you done? when you're done. I uh, just want to make sure you know. The SD card is blank. Completely? Like, there, there's nothing on it. <laughs> oh, no. Um, what are we going to... What slicer do you want to use? Well, Creality Slicer, right? I mean, I bet I could download Creality Slicer to the... No, that's Windows only. Yep. Um, why is... It? Oh. Creality's trying to tell me something in the chat. Okay. I just got a text. Let me see. What is Creality telling me? Are they going to... Are they going to... Okay, let me, where's Creality? I gotta find it. I missed a message from Creality. Okay, I'm looking. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. There was a message from Creality. Someone said it's important. Is but what was it? Creality. Okay, there's there's a Creality. So yeah, it's not right uh, Joel, the wire that's with the Teflon affects the sensor wire, so it appears 203 failure. So it is recommended to adjust the wire to the left side of Teflon tube. What? Oh, oh, okay. So the message was having to do with um, leveling. Oh. Leveling. So it, it, nothing, nothing on the sensor needed to be adjusted. It was that the bed eccentric nuts weren't properly holding it to the extrusion. So once I tightened those up, we were able to auto-level the bed just fine. So we're good. We're good? Good on that. We're good. Okay. However. Okay. But... But, Joel, the wires with the temp. Okay, so everybody's repeating it. Good. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, no, leveling is fine. Leveling, totally, totally fine. Um, do you have your laptop here, Sean? I do. It's PC. Can you just take a look and see if for some reason the Mac isn't reading it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because I don't, I don't have an adapter. Well, I can, let, me, let me try then. I'm, I'm going to oh, try this adapter sure. see what happens. Am I on cam one? Yeah, okay. Okay. Sure. Nope, nothing on the SD card. So Sean's going to use his laptop to check on it. Show hey, let's take a look at some chats. What do you say? While I do that? Yeah. It's about time. God. Tell him in the meantime and in between time, G-code. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sounds like it should be a shirt. Well, Cam Williams, four ninety nine. Can no, we get a toilet be. test for it? <laughs> Any blog with a five or join Mr. Message for Creality? It seemed kind of important. Uh, we didn't handle that. So it had to do with auto leveling on the bed, and it was, it was the message 203, and it was because the bed wasn't tight on the extrusions. We, we got it tight. Got it tight, and now it's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, Kenneth Abar. Uh, oh, the gunk you got off the IPA is part of Creality's bed adhesion. They say to not use the IPA on the beds last I checked. <sighs> Really? No, no, no. No, that doesn't make sense. The factory supplied bed adhesion shouldn't be a... Well, or maybe... I don't know. Okay. It was a little bit of... Really? And now I'm... Ah, dang it. I've always cleaned beds with IPA. 
I don't know. Oh, that's right, because there's a solution on that, isn't there? Is that what, is that what, I, don't, is that what, I didn't think I'm there not, is. Oh, Chuck said I should use rum. I, I mean... Well, we did before. We did before. Yeah, it's true. What is Windows? And someone else is saying IPA is fine, so yeah. Okay. Is this the thing? Does it have <laughs> the thing? Robert Perlow. I guess if you love child slave labor, you would love Apple. Dang. Nice. Uh, Andrew Rogers, 199. The profile for the CR10S Pro V2 should work. Yes, I don't. No. I don't know. Jaden PVP, Joel put the engine benchmark first. Oh, that's the one from uh, Sunshine Turbo. Yeah, nothing on this SD card. Nothing on the SD card? Nope. Okay. Um, so, do you want me to download Quality Slicer? Well, let's see what it says. Uh, or, hey, <laughs> Maybe this is where we do printing with Wi-Fi. <laughs> Should we try it? Sure, why not? Let's do it. All right. Oh, I'm going to need you to turn this way, printer. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, it says to download, so do you want to download Creality Slicer on your laptop for now? Yeah. Okay. And I will do some Wi-Fi things. Do it, .gif. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't good. What happened? I just tapped something on the screen and the machine shut down. You tapped it too hard. No, I didn't. I promise. <laughs> I mean, that was, yeah. A yoke. Um, sorry about that. Okay, set up. About. Oh. You know what button I accidentally touched on the UI? Power? One touch shutdown. <laughs> hey, look, there's a light. Look at that. You can't really see it, but whatever. Uh, so there's a Creality Slicer 4.8 build. Sure. There's also a Creality Slicer 4.2.rar right next to it. I don't know. I'll do 4.8. It sounds newer. Confirm. Okay. Um. Oh, my God, this internet. Well, so, are you, are you connecting to the Wi-Fi? Trying to? I am not connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, maybe it's not. So the instructions say for Wi-Fi printing. Um, there's a there's an app or a website I go to on my phone, and then I go. Um, Restore network settings, which I did, and then I perform a Wi Fi reset. Like what? On the printer? This is three minutes to download 100, 157 megabyte. Oh my god. I don't, I don't think we can test Wi Fi printing right now. Because we have to reset the Wi Fi. Like our Wi-Fi network? No, 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 no. Oh. Resetting, it's, it's talking about resetting the Wi-Fi stack on the, on the printer. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm, I'm working on this uh, Creality Slicer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it. Slow but sure on this download. Oh, I do have a snack over here. Okay. Um, I've got... So I've got the Creality Cloud app on my phone. Okay. Four minutes. Sign. 
No. Yeah? I have to add a device. No, thank you. Oh, okay, I'll eat it. Yeah, you eat it. <laughs> um, I think the Wi-Fi stuff's going to have to wait. Okay. I don't think it's really at a point where um, we're going to make any headway in testing it. So Sean's downloading the slicer right now. We'll get a um, Benchy. Sure. No. Mini Joel? I don't know. What do you want to slice? A mini toilet. Uh, <laughs> uh, mini... Mm. You should we do the tiny little mini Joel? We can do a Benchy if you want. I mean, I don't yeah, want to... Yeah, it's yeah. going to take two and a half hours. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Benchy's fine. Time's it now. Well, it's like 40. I haven't had dinner. Why? <sighs> Desar, I arrive and Joel is having technical problems. <laughs> yeah. Robert Morrison, a new member. Thank you very much. Uh, Cam Williams, 499. Uh, oh, on my reality machine. Sorry, also works okay on Mac. Okay, good. Well. Oh, wait. So then, um, if this is the same way of leveling Prusa Slicer with the CR6 profile, should work, right? Right? Maybe? You had to change the build volume. But that's easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. I think so. Okay. Well then let's try that. Let's, let's download the Prusa Slicer, and see what happens. Wait, do I already have it? I already have it. <laughs> Sweet. Hope everybody's doing well. Really sorry about the technical difficulties. He said every stream. <laughs> I just wanted a chill stream. I know. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I told you. I'll need that SD card back at some point. Shut up. Uh, Ow. You see, you're just going to use that? You don't want to use the... I spent eight minutes downloading Gralia Slicer for nothing. Did you? <laughs> Probably. All by yourself? Over here in the corner. Good job. <laughs> I wonder why there's nothing on the SD card. Like that just doesn't nothing. seem right. Yeah. I mean, there's the typical hidden folders. It says there's three megs used on the disk. Yeah, it's a typical hidden folders, but nothing uh, created. December 31st, 1979. I wonder if wow. there's a problem with it. Could be. Let's see. Oh, uh, there it is. And oh, uh, oh. Uh, take. It. <clears throat> My buddy Andrew. It's just got thirty-two. Um, said he used the. CR6SC profile from Prusa. Yeah? On his, and he said it's the cleanest Creality print he's ever seen. Really? Yep. Okay. That's good to know. And he prints with Creality a lot. So Does he? Yep. Okay, well then let's, let's do that. I'm going to need to add a printer. Okay. All right, now I need to add a, stop it. Stop, 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 mm. there we go. Okay. Cleanest, cleanest stock reality. Sure. There we go, Creality. So I've got Ender 3, Ender 3, Ender 3, Ender 5, Ender 5 Plus. I don't have a, uh, a, a CR6. No? Mm-mm. Do you have to be in the current firmware? Or the current version? Oh, is it like version? latest, latest? I don't know. Maybe? Well, let's find out. Well, there we go. So I was running <clears throat> 230, and now for Prusa Slicer, I'm going to run 231. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it just came out like this week. Oh, okay. The uh, profile. Sweet. There we go. Hope everybody's doing well. 
We'll get this printing. Darn it. We're doing it. Uh, we're going to get it printing. Sound like an old West dude. Get it printing. I appreciate the lights over there. I just turned it on. Yeah, with the lights from the... Yeah, yeah. You can control the lights. There's an on-off switch in the menu. It's just cool to have, you know? It is neat to have. I print a lot at night, so... Do you? <laughs> Overnight. Yeah, many, you do. Many nights. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. I'm getting there. Sorry it's taking so long. I hope everybody's having a good night. <laughs> I'm going to get some dinner after this. I want some dinner. You should, eat, you should eat dinner before we stream. I should eat before I stream, I know, but I didn't have time. It's okay. Everything's okay. You better eat next week. Oh, yeah, next week. There we go. Two, three, one. Okay. I should have the right thing in it. Oh, Naomi is asking Creality to slice the Benchy for me with the right settings. Hold on. Okay. Nice. Well, now we're racing. All right, Naomi. We're racing. You're asking Creality to slice the Benchy for me. Well, I've got Bruce's slicer, and I'm going to slice the Benchy for me. We're going to see who wins. <laughs> So like, uh, uh, who was it? It was Tim Curry in uh, Speed Racer, right? You're going to be a real race car driver. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. Anybody see Speed Racer? Like uh, the one by the Wyckowski brothers at the time, right? They're not the brothers anymore, but you know, the, yeah. the Wyckowskis. Uh, yeah. The Speed Racer had uh, Zac Efron. It did. And John Goodman and Timothy Curry. Wow. And it was a great movie. Like it was a, and it had Christina Ricci. That's the way to describe it. It was a, have you seen it lately? <laughs> no, I have not. Okay. You need to watch it. I should. It's a great movie. I'm not going to watch it again. Sean? No. You're a liar. There is no CR6 really? in Prusa Slicer. I'm telling you, that's what he used. I don't see it. Like, we went through all this trouble. Your friend's a liar. <laughs> Dang, calling him out. I mean, I mean, what happened? What happened? Okay, well, you know, this race uh, between yeah. Naomi and I, I think Naomi's going to win. I think, I think so. I, I think am Naomi's also, going to win. Uh, I'm also opening Creality Slicer over here. So. Oh, you are? Mm. Okay, see if it's got this in it. Mm, it's in Portuguese. <laughs> Isaac Gelman. I don't think Zac Efron. Who was in it then? Yeah, I don't think it was Zac Efron either. Was it Zac Efron? Who was it? Uh, good question. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Speed Racer IMDb. Okay, we're going to... We're gonna find this out. It was put out in 2008. Yep. 2008. Oh, That's a great Emil, Emil Hirsch. Uh, okay. Emil Hirsch. Okay. Oh, and Susan Sarandon was his mom. Scott Porter was Rex Racer. That's right. Wow. <laughs> this is the slowest printing ever. There's a CR6 in Cura. Oh my God. There's motion. So I just saw uh, my wife's van get home. I bet her and Sydney went for a drive because Sydney's got her permit now. Want to hear a funny story? Sydney got pulled over today. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's terrible. So Sydney just got her permit, legal to drive yesterday. Today, she was going to do some driving to uh, my son's baseball tournament. Her and my wife were in the van driving some back roads, and a police officer pulled them over. Oh, excuse me. Police officer, super nice. Um, but they pulled them over because they don't have a front license plate on the van. And here in Washington State, that is required. Required, yeah. Yeah. You don't need your tags on that plate, but you need the plate. So my wife said, there are no holes in the van to put the plate on. I have the plate here. How should I attach this? And the officer said, drill holes or uh, use wire to attach it to your grill. So we're going to drill holes tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, Spivs it. You missed Chep. Did I? I saw Chep. You know what's funny? There's what? no CR10S 
smart. There's no CR10 smart in uh, in this. Is there a, a CR6 SE? Mm, yes. Okay. Let's just slice for that and see what happens. Okay. Re so, like a cube. Get a chep cube or something. Something real easy. BTR Plumbing, new member. Thank you. Race May with two bucks. Hey, Joel, I want to say hi. You're awesome. Thanks. I just... Honestly, you use the correct your, and you're already one of my favorite people tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Race. Aiden Bushman, why drill holes when you can 3D print something? Oh. You know, he's not wrong. That's, I mean, you're not wrong. All right, so. You're not wrong. Any motion with a fiver. Cop should have given her a ticket. Cop has failed society. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I really want to know how she handled that. What? I want to know how she handled that. Who, Sid? Yeah. Um, she got a little frustrated, and, and it, a little ang anxiety kicked in, and then yeah. her and Mickey switched places and Mick drove the rest of <laughs> yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Which is fine, you know? Yeah. Which is fine. Uh, Denetius, 4.9. So Cura 4.9, which is what you're running, right? No. I'm, not, I'm, I'm in Creality Slicer. You're, oh, Creality Slicer. Okay. Uh, there's, <laughs> there's no, uh, I, like we're running a really slow race here. We're just waiting for software. Uh, Jeffy Boy, 3D printing nerd. Do you have any issues with the Hamera? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never used a Hamera. I have two that are branded Hermes because I got them before they had to rename it to Hemera. Sure and I is. just haven't installed them on anything. Uh, I might be installing them on something soon. We'll see. Robert Morrison with a buck 50. Thanks, Robert. That is six quarters. Mm. I just did math in my head. Jackson Avery, the Series 6 Pro's profile is also in Cura 4.8. So Sean's got the Creality Slicer over there loaded, which is Cura 4.2.1 or something like that. But uh, it's going to have Creality Profiles in it. Right, Sean? Yes. Okay. Michelle Pye, what are you printing? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing right now. I hope to print a cube. God, I hate this. <laughs> uh, how are you guys? I, I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> Matthew Kazi, why not just use Cura? Because Sean has the Creality Slicer loaded on his laptop. Gosh darn it, he's going to use it. Trying to, but it's in Portuguese. Uh, Jeffy Boy, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, this is regarding the Hamera. Do you have any idea what can help with zits on the surface? Zits are usually um, when it's doing, uh, when it's moving to the next layer. And so if you add, I believe, a little bit of coast maybe, to a little, a little bit of coast to, to the end of the layer, then it's not gonna have, excuse me, that extra filament to spit out. And so it might um, not make that zit. Yeah. Ah, Nero 3DP, the Canadian two. What's up? What's up, eh? I had to say eh, because you're Canadian. Stop. What? Stop. That's rude? I don't know. Oh, thank God. It's in English. Again. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. Here, I don't use Cura. Can you uh, change the dimensions? I don't use care. I don't know where it's at. Okay. Okay, your laptop's huge. Thanks. Mm -mm. Can I machine settings? So we're gonna call it um, 300, 300, 400. Good enough. Okay, it just has the G28. We can close that. 
Will it, will it let me change the name? 175, that's good. Can't change the name. Okay, the CR6 SE is now the uh, CR10, CR10, okay. <laughs> sure. It's nice. Hey, perfect, okay. <laughs> so, save to file. Uh, let's see, I need the little thingamajobber. Did you give it back? I gave it back. You didn't give it back? I gave it back. You're a liar pants. What? No, I believe you now. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. Not Taco Bell? We should I'm just, Taco Bell. no, no, I'm just excited to go eat milkshakes after this. <laughs> Me too, man. Diet starts Tuesday. I get that, that nice diet food coming in. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. But uh, before that, all bets are off. It's like four months. It's just, it just died. Four months. It just died. My, li my laptop did? No. No. Uh, Corelli Slicer. Here's your laptop. Let's put this in. Let's see what happens. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see anything with the laptop well, in the way. We did it. <laughs> so we used the Corelli Slicer on Sean's laptop, and we set the CR6 SE profile to have the build dimensions of the CR10 Smart. It's using the same auto leveling and it has the same G28 thing. So we're just going to print that. We're just going to print that. Yeah. We're just going to print that. We did it. Oh, Chris linked me the Prusa slicer that has uh, the CR6 in it. It's oh. in there. It's in their GitHub. Oh. It's in their GitHub. So my friend didn't lie. Well, no. <laughs> Technically not. Yes, I just made a mess up here. Jeez. <coughs> Is anyone surprised? Okay. You throw that away. Yep, that's what I was coming over here for. Thank you. All right, everybody, this is it. We're going to get a print done. <laughs> I'm just hydrating right now. Make sure you all have some, some hydration near you. Uh, Naomi Wu, just now. Sorry, still waiting here. That's okay. So, Naomi, we took the Creality Slicer. We updated the CR6 SE profile with build dimensions for the CR10 Smart, and we sliced a Chep Cube using 0.2 millimeter layers, 10% infill, and then we saved out that G-code to the SD card. I put it in here, and I hit print, and it recognized it, so we're going to go with it. But if Creality sends me the Benchy G-code, I can at least start that on here before I go home to sleep. I mean, get or, milkshakes or and this, then sleep. If this fails for whatever reason. Or if it fails, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when? The 3D Lab 2.0. I tagged you with my rocket on Instagram. It's called the Safety Rocket. Sweet. <laughs> I like safe rockets. Jashir, uh, Jersinho Ramirez Ruiz. That beer should be hot by now. This isn't beer. This is water. It's called Liquid Death. It's just water. Actually, we do have two Guinness Stout in the fridge. Oh my God, you're right. We were told no more drinking on stream, though. <sighs> Once it's printing, maybe we can have one. <laughs> <laughs> and really, Guinness isn't beer. That's a meal. <laughs> it's fair. Steve Uckerman, Joel, there are no adjustments on that bed. No, 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 no. The bed is um, on the, the frame and the rails, and it's just like a Prusa Mark III or Mark II or... You know, the Prusa machines where the bed is solid against the, the uh, frame and then that against the rails. So there are no adjustments. And so it's relying on its auto leveling. The marketing is amazing for Liquid Death. Donetus, you can slice this in Notepad. What version of Notepad are you running? <laughs> Robert Morrison, did you check the belt tension? I did, and it seemed okay. I mean, I can, I'll, I, I can tighten it just a little bit. I sure can. Sure. Why not? Just a little bit. Just, just a little. Just a, just a tad. I love how easy that is. <laughs> Denetis. Uh, Denetius. G-Code Wranglers. Listen, listen. Uh, I, that's actually a fascinating subject. Hand-crafted G-Code, right? Because it's just text. It's just... You can open it notepad, like you said. It would be interesting. That's what that um, 
There's that one app that does the extrusions and the movements just to, to create things. It's not a slicer, but it, it does hand created G code to do it. Does that, does that sound? No. no, I don't know. Okay. Well, the bed's almost hot enough. I'm actually not listening. <laughs> Thanks for that. No problem. Andrew Hayes. I was prescribed Guinness in hospital. Shut the front door. <laughs> Seriously? That sounds amazing. And for what? Benny Brady. Did you start the print? I sure did. The Sledgehammer blog. How many 3D printing nerds does it take to slice a light bulb? <sighs> Yeah, what you what like Sean said, what 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 did you get diagnosed with in the hospital that they had to prescribe to you Guinness Stout? That sounds like an ailment that I'm curious about. Maybe I have that. <laughs> Imagination two form, no place like G28. I think that's a t-shirt. <laughs> Nero 3DP. I've I uh, I've hand let's see. I've don't. Oh, come on, Taylor. I don't handwriting code for simple C and C ops gets tedious fast. Yeah, I bet. I would imagine it does, especially when there's so many things that can do it automatically, right? Brian McCormick, I just bought one with your link. Brew, brew. Telly, uh, Telly, um, and Telly, did the bed heat up or did I fall asleep? So the bed did heat up. The bed's at 60C, and right now the nozzle is at 183C. So we're doing the heat up sequence. Seems to be going. Nelson, OpenSCAD. Oh, I love OpenSCAD. I got into 3D printing at the first because I knew um, JavaScript. And so I thought another ACMA 262 type language would be great <laughs> to, to be able to do that. Chat, I was prescribed a beer. Sean, I have that disease. <laughs> oh, Brian Vines, what ailment? What ailment? Oh, Brian. Jeez. Whew, give me the vapors. That's amazing. <laughs> Race May, $2. Joel, the title of your fave TN. What's favorite TN? Fave. Fave. Uh, oh, title of your favorite tonight. Made me so happy. Oh, because you used the right uh, grammar. I love that. Thank you for that. Some people don't. That's right. Practical printing. There's a link right there. Full control G code. Full control G code. That's, that's the good stuff right there. Okay. Something's happening. It is. Okay, that's good. It's, it's, it's doing something. Is it extruding something? Uh -huh. Oh, wait, did I? There we go. Shh. What did you do? What? What didn't you do? I don't see anything coming out. That's because it's black filament still. Oh, no. And it's way too low. Yeah, it is. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, we'll get there. We'll get, we'll get there. I promise. <laughs> okay, so the auto leveling put the, uh, uh, put it, put it too low. So we should, is there an offset? Yes. So, axis compensation, it says 0.1. I'm going to go 0.2. Let's try again. Let's see if that works. Is it still putting out black? Yeah, a little bit of test black. Okay. Eddie Mosier, welcome to Z Offset. Thanks, Eddie. Eddie Ustream. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. I want to be in your comment section. You know what's the best thing about uh, this? Ryan Payton. Oh. Maybe G Code didn't load the mesh. No, no, no. It was correct. So, um, in the instruction manual, it said to use G28. And I believe the mesh is, is baked in. I, I, don't, I, don't know if it's a I don't know if you load the mesh in this one. Um, I think it just knows it. And I think it has to do with the offset. So 0.1 on the offset was enough. So I'm doing 0.2, which should bring the nozzle a little bit further away from the bed, which then should hopefully give us uh, a proper extrusion. Man, 
Yeah. Albi Android, Z Offset, the real end boss. True. Yeah. True. William, William Humphreys with a fiver. Tell me the longer LK4. Tell me, tell me me the longer LK4. Tell, okay, so me the longer LK4. Tell me the longer, tell me me the longer LK, I, I've never used the longer LK4. I haven't. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I have one. I might have one. I might have the longer. I might have it here somewhere. Jeez. What's the one we've used from them? The something 10? Is there a 10? No. No? No. Mm. No. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. So much filaments. Okay, we're at temperature, so it should start to do something. There it goes. Okay. That's not really any... Okay, it's going to get the offset. Bonk. Oh. That was nice. Okay. It's going to draw a line. Do it. Is it doing it? I don't know. It's, a, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. <laughs> Let it do it. It didn't do it. Didn't do it. Didn't okay. Do it. Didn't do it. Okay, so. Okay. So I think, so if you're, if you're doing, because it was, originally when it does the bed, beveling, bed, jeez, wow. bed leveling, it doesn't have you preheat the bed. But if you're, you're, you set your bed to the right temperature, then it, isn't there some sort of thermal expansion there? Couldn't that be the issue? So then if it does the leveling with a hot bed, maybe that's what we need? Is that, I mean, is that right? Uh, possible. Is it? So you need to adjust your offset after the home. That's what I read. You what? Adjust the offset after you home? I don't know. Oh, I'm going through the leveling process again. <laughs> now that the bed's heated, are you, is, is the bed going to stay heated up? Did you set it to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, bed's staying heated. So let's do that. Okay. Okay. We'll get one more level out of the way with the bed heated. First off, do a bed. I didn't think this had baby stepping. I didn't even think to check. We can check though. I will check. You can alter the Z offset while it's doing the skirt. Someone said that in capital letters. You know, he says they find this under the benchy. <laughs> they. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So Naomi reached out to Corality to have them slice a Benchy with the proper settings for this machine so they could send me the G-code and I could give it a shot. Uh, they sent her a Benchy STL. Mm -hmm. I mean, baby steps. So, uh, <laughs> Practical Printing just said baby steps. Like baby steps, Naomi. I, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So they said I can adjust things while it's running. While it's doing the skirt. That's great. Z axis compensation. There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's not in every reality printer, that's for sure. Well, it's in this one for sure. Yep. Ooh, hi Joel from Portugal. I have a streaming channel about 3D printing and I would like to invite you for a little podcast. Maybe. Might be able to do that. Shoot me an email. Maybe we can make that work. Maybe. Aiden Bushman, 3D printing nerd, do you think that 3D printing is an addicting career? Uh, it's, uh, it's fun. It's exciting. It's thrilling. If you like troubleshooting, 3D printing is definitely the career for you. Like if you're good, if you're, if you're a good quality assurance engineer, like if you were going to be a test engineer at a tech company, 3D printing is for you. Uh, oh, not Janet. Not Janet. Where'd you go? 
Uh, don't you need the G29 leveling after the G28 home? No, specifically in these machines, the G28 home is all you need. Legit. Yeah, that's what they said. And it works. Okay, so we're, uh, we're going to adjust uh, the thing. Nice. Yahtzee. Llama Wama, it's my birthday, so it's a wonderful gift that you're streaming. Aw. Happy birthday, Llama Wama. I just, I just want to let you know. It rolls off the tongue. Llama Wama. That's fun. And I like fun. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're set. Oh, please. Oops. So do I move it up or down? I think I move it up, right? Up, yeah. Is it doing it? Yeah, I think it did it. Yeah, I did it. I see it. Mm, yeah. Nice. We're laying down some smooth plastic here on 3D Printing Nerd. Oh, boy. Smooth plastic. Oh, boy. Look at that. And we are printing. It's doing it. Okay, can you... Do you need another light on it, Sean? It looks... Dark? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Hey, go get the other uh, the other the tube light, light. The light bar? The tube light. The tube, buddy. The light of tubes. Uh, it's not it's plugged going, in. It's going, it's going, it's going. It's not plugged in. Where'd it go? It's okay. Uh, oh, I found it. It's next to where it's plugged in. Where is that? Oh, that filament's at the beginning. Someone said there's filament at the beginning. Let me... Ready, ready? Huh. Huh. Got it. I did that. I did that all by myself. You did. Good job. It's not plugged in, but it might have some power. Well, yeah, but you have to control it, right? So there's the, the remote. Is there huh. no, or is there no power on the screen? Nope, there is. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so you'll have to change it yourself. And Naomi sent the G-code. Oh, there we go. And she just said it. Sweet. Ah, Loyal with a tenor. Hi, Sean. Hi. Sean's currently playing with a light. You're at pink. So go to uh, 6,500K. Is there spaghetti? No, there's nowhere spaghetti on the nozzle. We are good. Okay, so we'll get the cube printed. And then... Um, sweet. Okay, and I got the G-code... From Naomi. So we'll get the, the cube printed. That's not... What? There you go. There you go. Look at that. You want it right there? Okay, well, give me... Give me, give me more. Give me more. I need a thing or else it's going to light up my face. My face. Okay. <laughs> that works. It works, right? Yeah. 100%. All right, all right, I mean, we can, we can do that. There we go. Larry Cluster, $5. High five from Puyallup. Nice. Hometown. Hometown. Jonathan R., get a light at that, you nerds. Like a shot, 5135. Oh, $4.99 is the price of this thing. That ain't bad at all. No, not at all. Robert Morrison, what is the print speed set at? Uh, whatever the de default was, defaults were. So I believe in Creality Slicer, defaults are like 45 or 50 millimeters per second, I think. I don't know the answer to that question. I don't either. Oh no, the light keeps moving. I hit it with my chin. Don't do that. I'm sorry. What in the world? Are you watching uh, Invisible on Amazon? Invincible? Invincible? Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's kind of funny. It's gruesome. <laughs> there are some crazy yeah, pretty, scenes. Yeah. Especially Thomas Delaney, can you increase the speed while printing? Yeah, I can. I want to get down a few layers first, and then we'll, we'll see about making it fly. Then we'll go. 
The real test is going to be the, the Benji G code that Naomi sent me. Right. Uh, can you put the box in focus? Yes, but it moves, you know? I can't, like, keep it in focus. That's okay. No, no, the other way. There. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh. No, the other way. I, I'm not touching it. <laughs> oh, you're not? Can you no. put it in manual? Yeah, I have to, because... Okay. Otherwise, it'll shift with the... Yeah, it, it gets it on the, the print head. Oh, I, I thought... Am I not in manual? I thought I switched it. Coming off. Can you switch it for me? Thank you. There. I can't see it. <laughs> it's like... I can't get to that. You're getting there. Ari Saperstein. I am 14 and want to start a printing business. How do I get in contact with you for some tips? Uh, I don't I don't think that is probably the best way to go. So starting a 3D printing business, it depends on the business plan and what you're trying to accomplish, what the goal of your business is. I would reach out to other startup businesses. So my, my business itself is creating content around 3D printing. If you're gonna be doing on-demand 3D printing or, or 3D printing as a service, I would reach out to the people that are doing that because uh, that's not me. Also, uh, Uncle, Jesse just, Uncle Jesse just put out a video that's how to make more money with 3D printing or something. Oh, yeah. So, well, so. I mean, they should subscribe to Uncle Jesse anyway. Sure, yeah. Hey, look at that. It's looking clean. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, first indications are it's clean. Oh, hey, Teresa. Good night, Brian Vines. <laughs> oh, RC Maniac. Uh, good night, brother. As always, thanks for hearing me and seeing me. Like, I'm looking at this, and it's, it's clean. Like, it's looking good. <laughs> Can you get any closer? No? Oh, not with that lens? I, mean, I can move. The, I can move the camera physically closer. No, because then you're in the going to be in that yeah, shot, right? I know, yeah. So Ricky I know. with a fiver, high five. Burian here. 3D printing seems really intimidating for a beginner. Good way to start. Um, I would, if you have some sort of budget, I would try to find a machine that works within the budget you have, and I would approach it with the mindset that um, failures are going to happen, and you're going to learn from them. Really, for a couple hundred bucks, you can get in with an Ender three that you'll then have to build yourself. It's not the hardest thing in the world, but, but I mean, it can be intimidating. Take your time with it. Eventually you'll get it together. And by building it yourself, you will learn all about the machine and how to fix it when things go wrong. Because it's not a matter of if things go wrong, things will go wrong. That's just the nature of the beast. You're melting plastic onto a platform, into a shape. All sorts of things can go wrong. But once you learn more about it and get some experience under your belt, things go wrong less often and you end up with high quality models that you can enjoy give to friends or sell for a profit yes aperture step down would absolutely fix the problem however i do want to actually keep it bright guys so you're an aperture sean yeah and then i can read the iso i suppose squiddy squidnacker joel you're going to check the dimensional accuracy uh, i will if i can find my calipers uh but i'm not I'm not exceptionally worried about dimensional accuracy at this point because five, six, this is just getting something out of the box and making sure it can do the things that we aimed to have it do. And in this one, we wanted to test the silent steppers and we wanted to test the auto bed leveling. Uh, silent steppers, not too bad. It seems quiet. The movements are quiet. The loudest thing is going to be the fan cooling the electronics and the fan, you know, cooling the filament. Uh, but the steppers are quiet. As far as auto bed leveling, got that working. Oh, Big Jana was in here. 
Hey, Big Chiano. Good to see you, man. And RC Maniac says good night. So I guess you're going away for Dreamland, and I wish you the best. Rocky Martinez. Martinez, did that filament come with the printer? Yes, Creality sent a small roll of white PLA with this machine. The inappropriate maker has Creality made a new CR10 glass bed surface. I don't know if it's new, but this type of um, treatment to glass is, is pretty common within 3D printers. Uh, but from the beginning, I, I think that using a removable and flexible build surface on this would be key. Since it's using the nozzle to do the bed leveling, it's actually touching the surface physically to create the, the level of the machine. Here's the interesting part though. Uh, Flexible build surface, great. But what if you had, say, uh, a piece of wood you wanted to print on? I don't know if that's possible, but you could because it's using the nozzle to touch the surface, right? Same with a BL touch, it kind of works in the same way. Nero 3DP with a Canadian tenor, that's two fives, eh? Okay, so this is now doing its thing, longest eight minutes ever, and you got time to kill. So when is the, oh no, it's a Voron. <laughs> so when is the Voron build happening? Don't forget, you need to try out Clipper 2. Oh. Taylor. They're going to keep me. telling you. going to keep telling you. It's try I'm, I'm talking to Ty, I think Ty, and, uh, and Jason at LDO, and I'm sourcing parts, and uh, the Voron build will happen, and I'm excited about it. Plus, Clipper, with its, um, uh, it can, it can, you can do that, you can tune the accelerations, right, because it, it does the vibrations if you touch the sensor to it, and it knows when to, I don't know, cancel out the echoes and stuff. It's just cool. Well, the E and the P and Chep are looking good, and the X is looking good. There's nothing on that wall, and it's looking good. <laughs> Denetius. Joel needs Clipper. I do. I do. Boolean difference. Is that wobble? Is that wobble where? I don't see any wobble. Do you see, wo do you see any? I don't see any wobble in the camera. If you can be more specific about what you're seeing or, or when... I'm not seeing any wobble. Skya Boy, when's the Thangs contest announced? The whole reason we're doing this stream today is because we had a setback for the Thangs announcement video. It was originally going to be today, but um, it's not. <laughs> so it's Wednesday. <sighs> Robert Perlow, two hours is close to eight minutes. Sort of. <laughs> to be fair, Creality said it could be assembled in eight minutes, assembled. And I think that's true. We did get it assembled rather quickly. And I think it would be even quicker if I wasn't having to uh, stream it. Jonathan R, any spare Prusa voucher codes handy? What's a Prusa voucher code? What's a, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Beartastic. Oh dear, Vorons will become unobtainium if Joel makes a video. I don't know about that. Maybe. Loyal Moses, how do we get content up on that TV behind you? Oh, Loyal. Oh, this is exciting. Go ahead and go full screen for me for no. a sec. So, uh, everybody, and Loyal, because you asked the wonderful question. Thank you, brother. Um, this TV, we've got plans for it. So, for streams, what's going to happen is we're going to have events where the screen that you see in front of you right now can have some things happen. I was inspired by Kobe Lax, uh, awesome streamers on Twitch, and Chris Perillo, another awesome streamer on Twitch. He's actually on the Hot Mix show tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but then certain events are going to trigger things that will show up on this TV separately. So words or phrases or certain donation amounts. Uh, I think I have it all worked out in my head using OBS.ninja. That's the goal. But Loyal, thanks for the question, because I'm really excited about this. This is going to be a lot of fun for streams. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nary's coupon code. Okay, I have no coupons for Prusa. No coupons for Prusa. I'm sorry. Hey, do you know what color is really bad for showing off front quality on camera? Gray. No, that's really good. <laughs> I know, it's, I know. It's really good, actually. <laughs> White. I know. I 
Hey, Glenn Travis, thanks for everything you do, you guys. Man, you got me into 3D printing. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. Hey, Robert Morrison, question for Sean. What video switcher are you using? Why is it a question for me? I know. He does know. He bought it. It's the A10 Mini. It's the A10 Mini. Blackmagic A10 Mini. Yep. I mean, I've got the Pro. Uh, Teresa, how are the kittens doing? They're doing well. Uh, we're slowly introducing them to our three dogs. Uh, they are very, very interested in the kitties. Uh, not so much in chasing, but they like how they smell, and they're just really curious about them. The cats themselves are not scared of the dogs, That's which is crazy. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, if a dog gets too close, they'll bop it on the nose. <laughs> But like they don't, they don't run away from it. It's it's fun to watch, and the interactions are really cool. And uh, they should be able to roam the house soon. That's what I'm hoping. My cats are also doing great. Yeah, Sean's <laughs> cats are awesome. Hopper can hop. He sure he sure can. You should put that video on uh, Twitter. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah, Sean sure. will Twitter a video about his cat Hopper hopping like ten feet in the air. <laughs> RC Maniac, 3D Printing Nerd, have you seen the finale of Falcon and the Winter Soldier? And what did you think? Uh, I have seen it, and I quite enjoyed that series. I really like how Marvel dived deeper into the characters of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I like how they... Um, uh, and... and uh, what's the character's name for the new captain? What? The, new, the, guy, the character name for the new captain. John Walker? John oh. Walker. I loved John Walker's character. I like... I mean, obviously, if you, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I loved his character arc as well. Uh, I thought it was a fascinating series. I thought Disney handled it really, really well. Um, what I thought was really interesting was I wasn't prepared for swear words in a Marvel property. This was the first time. Well, it's, but no, it's not the first time, but definitely. Well, not the but there was a lot. A lot more, especially in a Disney TV property. Sure, I, I get that. Especially the Captain America property where... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Captain language. America's whole thing is language. Yeah, yeah. But all in all, I really enjoyed the series. I'm really thankful that Disney put it out. I really enjoyed the character arcs, and I can't wait for the future. That's going to be really exciting to see where that takes us. Plus, I can't wait for the Loki show. That's going to be crazy. Seven weeks. I know. <laughs> Alien 3D, U.S. agent. That's right. Yes, correct. But don't spoil it. Jeez. Well, I mean, that's the, that's the character he's based off of in the comics anyway, so. Sky Boy, Iron Man swears. Yes, I know Iron Man swears. It's just, on Disney+, Plus, I didn't expect there to be as much as there was. I did, I, you know what? It was, it was peppered in there more than I was expecting. I didn't even notice it, so. Well, that's because Sean's a delinquent. <laughs> Star Wars Bad Batch starts May 4th. Oh, yes. So there we go. Yes. There we go. Thank yeah. For, thank you for that. God, I can't wait for that. AKA Clone Wars Season 8. Right. <laughs> Steve Uckerman, Joel, which TMC drivers does this CR10 use? Can you enable linear advance? I don't know. They are silent stepper drivers. I'm not sure which ones. And I don't know. But I would imagine uh, a review of this machine would involve me taking it apart and looking. So that, that could happen. Or, you know, I could reach out to Creality. Maybe they'll tell me. I'm sure they will. Oh, practical printing. Creality doesn't list that on their spec sheet. Okay. Chaos95, what is your go-to PLA filament brand? Uh, right now, I use a lot of Jesse PLA from Printed Solid. It's inexpensive, and it's produced at, uh, at a good spec, and a lot of people like it. I like it. Uh, Dave is very excited because he's producing all sorts of uh, Jesse PLA colors. In fact, if you watch any of uh, Chris Perillo's streams on Twitch... He has a bunch of Jesse PLA, and it's awesome. Christopher Roberts, two bucks. My OG CR10 nozzle heats up and won't stop. Any tips? Thermistor? That's, uh, uh, yeah, thermistor is, is obviously the thing that tells the board when it should stop heating up. Um, excuse me. God, I'm tired. I need food. Milkshake soon. I offered you a, can a bar. I, I know. I didn't need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, if your thermistor isn't reporting right, then it's going to continue to heat up. Or if your thermistor is broken, uh, or if it doesn't have um, 
min temp, then, I mean, it could just continue heating. Um, so if you set a temperature, it just keeps going? Is that it? That's just, that seems crazy. Now I'm scared. Uh, Tyler Cook with a fiber. Hey, Joel, I used your guide on how to embed magnets into prints to embed TPU grips into a PETG end effector I made for my college robotics team. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Hot diggity. Hey, if the, any pictures of that are social, socially spreadable, socially so spreadable, shareable, shareable, socially shareable, uh, tag me in those. I'd like to see them. I don't want to spread anything right now. Uncle Jesse's in the his house. Heck yeah. I just got turned up. Turned. Ah, the inappropriate maker. Old CR10 don't have thermal runaway. Okay. Kobe Whitman, just saying Inland PLA Plus. Um, I've never, I've never used it. I've never used Inland PLA Plus. I'll have to try that. Alan Mortz, is that Chris Perlow from Locker Gnome? It sure is. Heck yeah. He streams daily on Twitch at 6 p.m. Pacific. And he's usually printing a Star Wars thing. Of course. Of course. And, uh, and just having a lot of fun. Having a lot, a lot of fun. Thomas Morsing, today is the day I'm going to pick up my Ender 3 V2. Can't wait. It's my first 3D printer. Everybody, nice. Thomas Morsing is getting his first 3D printer today. This is a moment of celebration. Good job, Thomas. Yay. Sean. Yeah. There we go. It's for the first 3D printer. Yeah. We need to have something up here on the screen behind you when that happens. Soon! <laughs> I go 10 with a fiver. Any issues with Prusa Mini Plus or Prusa Mini Plus under extrusion with PTFE tube? I don't use my Mini because of reoccurring issues. Pretty disappointed, but heart my Mark III. I don't know. Uh, there's two camps on the Prusa Mini. There's some that are like, it's problematic and I don't use it. I don't like it. And there are some that are like, I have no issues with it and it works great. I'm on this side. I don't have any problems with my Prusa Mini. Um, I was sent one for review and I bought one and they both work great. Uh, I ended up giving one away to a friend, but it worked great and they're working great. It's working great for them and, and mine is right there and it's still working great. So I don't, I don't know. Like I don't have problems with mine. I kind of want one with problems so I can play with it and figure it out. But, but um, yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know. Aiden Bushman, planning to get my first resin printer by Friday. That's exciting. Robert Blue, CRX for life. For life. I get it. Good for you, man. I remember the CRX. Dude, this is looking good. Yeah? It, yeah, it is. Yeah. I tweeted out that Hopper video. Did you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Chris Russell, you're in the chat. Could you link to Sean's Twitter that contains the video we just talked about? He just tweeted it out. If we'd link to his tweet that has that video about his cat jumping, I'd like people to see it. Could you post the link in chat, please, Chris? Monster Parts, what slicer are you using? You use S3D. Um, I've used Simplify 3D in the past, and I... Don't use it much anymore. Uh, I use a lot of Prusa Slicer. I use a lot of uh, Idea Maker. Um, I've, I've gone to, uh, to Kirimoto. Kirimoto is awesome. I like Kirimoto. Are some, uh, uh, Sean Connolly. Are, yeah, Sean Connolly's in the chat. Yeah, I, I, I posted Chip builds $5 just because, oh... Chip builds. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You gotta put it right next to the cube. There you go. Chip to builds. Look at that, huh? Nice. There it is. Because this is the pencil of pointing. <laughs> I love this pencil, by the way. It actually had me contemplating selling 3D printing nerd pencils. I like pencils. Like a good construction pencil. Just, and a sharpener. And it's just, it just feels good. It feels good. Joe, cat goes boing. That's <laughs> pretty much, that's yeah. What, that's what happened, yep. Right after that, he got above those windows. Like, he got above them. It was a crazy. That's nuts, yeah. man. Uh, 
X-Taze original. Do you guys think the Ender V2 is better than the Pro? I would say so. Ender 3 V2 is a newer, more feature-rich version of the Ender platform or than the Ender 3 platform rather than the Ender 3 Pro. Ender 3 Pro is, is a little bit of upgrades from the Ender 3. The Ender 3 V2 is kind of like uh, the new hotness. I would say it's better. Chip builds. Hit me up. I will send you some with my branding. Oh, no, no, no. So, uh, I'll tell you guys right now. Um, I've, uh, I've struck a deal with Glowforge, and I will be uh, utilizing their product, and uh, I can make my own. I will get some construction pencils and, and make my own. Uncle Jesse, four ninety nine. Sean, Invincible. How are you liking it? I love it. He loves it. I love it. I saw uh, the first two episodes, and I like it. Yeah, you should. You, you got to, man, the, the latest episode, bonkers. You got to watch it. Okay, yeah. I will. You got to catch up. Catch up. Next week. I is will. The, I will. Next week's the finale. 3 d printing here. Do you like Mitsubishi's pencils? I don't know. Do I? I don't, I don't know. I like good pencils. Are they good pencils? Thomas Moore saying, yeah, it's only the fans. It's only the fans. Uh, the steppers are pretty pretty quiet. Michael Grugel, that's fix some dude with a fiver. Selling pencils, what's the point? Oh, was that a dad joke? Was that, was, was that a dad joke? I think Get so. Get me warm. I think so. I think so. Chris's 3D print shop. I bought and reviewed Every Ender 3 variant for my channel. Man, it was a lot to keep up with, including <laughs> the Ender... Ex oh, you did the Ender Extender, too. Oh, wow. That's cool. ASMR, variety of topics. That's a fun channel name. Um, I am printing a Chef Cube right now. A Chef, a chef Cube. And uh, after this, I'm going to print a Benchy sliced by Creality. But once the Benchy lays down, we, uh, we, we might... I might um, start... Hey, it's done. Uh, let's check it out, and then we'll then we'll approach the Benji. Ah, I can't. I can't. That's well, okay. I'll, I can I can take it off. See what I did there? Yeah. All right. While you do that, I'm gonna do this. Well, I was gonna do it like right. No, no, no. It's, w it's too close to the light. Oh, it is. <laughs> light's, yeah, light's gotta go back. It's gonna get too bright with that light. It's like turn off the light. Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. Plus, all of our background lights died. Why? Because they're dead. Because they have limited battery. We did it. We've only been going for three hours. Keep them plugged in. Oh, is that it? Okay. <laughs> what do you know? Well, we know for next time. Okay, how about I put it right there? Good. How about you look at that? Boy, that's so bright. I know, that's what I'm saying. Give me a second to adjust some ice. <laughs> Other way. There? Is that good? Yeah. Oh, Monster Parts. Kirimoto. K-I... K-Y? K-I-R-I colon M-O-T-O. K-I-R-I colon M-O-T-O. Hello, Moto. Noxonomous only just got your husband going. Oh, it's been going fine. Tinnitus. Hello, Moto. I love it. Hello, Moto. Oh, I got a, I, I think I missed a chat. Probably. Probably, yep. Yeah. Uh, Shaka World dot shop is the CR10 smart similar to the CR6 Max? That's a good question. I would say yes ish, maybe? Maybe. No. <laughs> maybe. You're now so, I don't know. So definitive. I don't know. I've never played with the CR6 Max. The bridge here is $9.99. You already mind. Why not? Grab the CR10 V2 Black Friday, a CR10S Pro V2, and now a Voxel Labs. Thanks for the motivation when none of them work. Welcome. I'm glad I can help. Nevin Line with a 15. That's three fives. Giving 10 back from the coupon code just used to buy this printer, plus $5 to cover YouTube's take. Well, that, oh, well thank you. Nevin, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Shockerworld.shop. What camera setup are you using? Oh. 
Ready? Here we go. Pick one. That is a Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K right there. This is a Canon C70 right here. We're using an A10 Mini to switch those. And I've got um, Sennheiser mic pack. Yep. Uh, be careful with Sennheisers because they, they, they are like less than a frame off sync from regular microphones because of the delay or whatever. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. If you buy the AVX wireless system, buy all AVX because otherwise you're going to have trouble in syncing in post. Yep. Yeah, that's our camera setup. And we got some lights and stuff. We have more cameras that we just, they're over on a shelf somewhere. Someone said Maker's Muse has, hello, is, is Angus in? Angus is here. Oh, my heart. Angus, how you doing, man? It's very smart. So this is how it looks. Are you want me to turn uh, it now? Nope, too late. Oh, wait. Oh, hold I'm on, back. hold I'm on. back. Master Dark 9999. 999. Are you out of your mind? Hey, I so have an issue with my Searton Max. My PI sheet is peeling off my aluminum plate. If I were to apply a new glue to reattach it back, what glue would you recommend that has better properties? That I don't know. So I don't know what's better than the glue that already comes on PEI sheets. Uh, I would talk to someone who sells PEI. Maybe they would know. Okay, ready? Yeah, I've, I've done that already. Done, been ready. There it is. Okay, there's, there's the cube. There's the flat wall. Oh, no. A little, little bit of an elephant's foot there, but... Sure. Not bad. This isn't bad, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Quit falling. So anyway, that's not bad. Oh, wait, put it back on that. No. Someone screen cap that and uh, put on Twitter and tag Chuck. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Okay. Well, listen. Hey, we, we, I was almost going to go into Taylor Swift. I never, ever, ever. No. Stop. No, we're not going to do that. Ugh. So, uh. Now, what I'd like to do, so I mean, we've been going for uh, almost, almost, three hours. almost three hours here, but we have a machine and we have it up and working. Oh God, my lights died over here. We have a machine, we have it up and working and we proved that it worked. So we sliced with a CR6 profile in Creality Slicer set to the build dimensions of this. Now what I'm gonna do, will you hold that please? No. Naomi Wu got in contact with Creality and they sent her and then she sent me a link to a Benchy sliced with the proper parameters for this printer. So what we're gonna do now is start that Benchy. Oh yeah. Okay, don't do that. What? Whatever you just did. I said, oh <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was terrible. It was. Oh yeah. Stop, I can't do it. Can I get a, oh yeah. Cool, okay, we're at that point where we get to start the Benchy now. Sweet, I like Benchies. I like Ben, nah, you know, uh, Chris Riley likes Benchies more. That's, that's true. Get in there. Yeah, finish, finish him. Hey, look at that, CR10 SRT. Smart. Benchy. I heard it. Did you? Kind of gears down a little bit, like it it's going to go uphill. <laughs> well, Angus is in the chat. Angus, it's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I hope, uh, I hope everything's treating you well down south, down under, down under. South, under, it's the same. And uh, I hope you and yours are safe, man. And I can't wait for the day when I can come and visit. I am looking at this, and it looks good. Like, it looks, go it looks good. Like, I like it. It looks good. It's you good. See? You see? It's good. Is it good? It's good. I think so. It's good. <sighs> We're warming up to start the benchy. So once the Benchy gets started, uh, we'll start to wind down because uh, it's almost 10. Uh, kids start school back. This was spring break, so kids are back in school tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to get something to eat because I'm hungry. Does that make sense? I gotta, I've got a hunger. And, uh, and then what I'll do is send you a picture of the Benchy in the morning on Twitter, if you follow me. Maybe on the Instagrams, too. 
Yale, SRT, street racing team. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The Creality street racing team. Honestly. Cert. Where's the, the little person with the... Naomi, I don't know if you're still in the chat. Sean, can you, can you go right there? Yeah. Naomi, I don't know if you're still in the chat, but Creality or Naomi, if you're still in the chat, this guy right here, the Creality mascot, I would love, love STLs of this mascot in different poses. Like, uh, I, I don't know if it's around, I don't know if it's possible, but it is such a cute mascot. It'd be a lot of fun to print and paint, uh, just like a Benchy, right? Just like a Benchy, but one of these little guys. I don't know if it's possible, but if it is, Creality, Naomi, anybody who can make a difference in this world for this model, I would love it. I would love it. I would love it. Anyway. Uh-oh. It's almost 10 o'clock. David just asked for more time on uh, Minecraft. And he's got school at 8 o'clock uh... in the morning. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I can do that. I'm going to let mom handle that. <laughs> hey, Big Jano, you're still here, man? What in the heck? What in the heck? The bed is warm. We are 25 degrees Celsius from our target temperature. On the bed? No, on the nozzle. The bed is warm. Oh, the, so I see. I see. You're, you're famished as well. Sean's famished. He needs a milkshake. Yep. Strawberry this time. Oh, look at that. See, a lot of people, a lot of people really want the Creality mascot. So, uh, oh, Creality's in the chat. Creality's in the chat. Okay, Creality, you, you've, heard, you've heard our pleas. Let's, let's get a Creality mascot. Let's get a Creality mascot in a couple different poses, printable on FDM and resin 3D printers. I think that would be amazing. BTR Plumbing, 199. I want the Benchy. Oh, is that where we're going with this now? Yep. Oh, am goodness. Uh, NLTFW. Dad's at work, David. <laughs> It's another sci-fi shot right there. Look at that. Here we go. Here we go. It's doing the leveling thing. Okay, it's going to go over here. There it is. There it is. Are we doing? Are we spitting it out? Looks like it. We're priming. Prime time. I'm gonna get that little bit of. Oh, 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 got it. Nice. Yeah, it's a good line. It's a good height. Uh, it's a skirt. Okay. Or, or it's a 200% bench. Yes, it's a, or it's a bigger benchy than. <laughs> we will find out. Yes, that's a pretty large offset skirt there. Oh, look at that, practical printing. So um, the, the CR10 Smart, I guess Creality has put out a coupon, $10 off for this machine. Nice. If you go to 3d.pn forward slash CR10 Smart, that's my little link shortener, 3d.pn forward slash CR10 Smart, and use code NERD, legit, like it's on my shirt. Who knew? I got cat hair on me. Use code NERD to get you 10, uh, 10 bucks off. It's my life right there. It is a 200% Benchy. Yep. Cool. So this will be done in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, um, send your thanks to Creality for me. I really appreciate them slicing that model and getting you the G-code to get me the G-code. That, uh, that was awfully kind of you. Um, it is a 200% Benchy, so this will take a little bit more time. But it is laying down the letters just fine. Oh, I've got Torture Toaster, Torture Toaster. Imagination two form. Print a skirt. I did. I print. Look at that. I printed a skirt. Kim Kennedy. Uh, Creality should commission someone to create the model in Blender. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. <laughs> Look at that. My Thor. Naomi's trolling me with a two hundred percent Benji. I don't think she had control over this. I think this was. I think this was Creality, <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Can you get a, a, 
Uh, is there any way to get closer so we can see the letters? Is that possible? Yes. I mean, it's it's looking it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Uh, monster parts toast. BTR plumbing torture toaster. Ah, Ryan Payton, it's a big printer, so. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Cyberwolf74, they can make it a contest. Ooh, design the Creality mascot in 3D printable form, have a contest, and have Creality products as prizes. I mean... Shoot, I would back that. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't know if you're still in the chat, Creality, but if you create a contest around people designing 3D printable versions of your mascot and giving away Creality products as prizes, I will help promote that. 100%. Lucky shot, 5135. Print a skirt with a skirt and make it wearable. I need a bigger build plate for that. <laughs> I think, my, I think my, my child-bearing hips are a little bit bigger than this build plate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Eddie and uh, why, why am, will it ship to South Africa? That, uh, that I don't know. Oh, uh, Denetis, Denetia, Denetius. I hope I'm saying that right, man. Jeez. The Creality mascot character is on Thangs. I had no idea. But which pose? Is it in the cute heart pose? It needs to be. Because that's a good, that's a good pose. That's a good pose right there, right? You could send someone a Creality heart. Michael Grug, a 200% torture toaster. See you next week, <laughs> essentially. That's a good shot right there. Look at that. We're getting a good first layer. It's a little off focus. <laughs> Listen, I can't tell. I need glasses. Do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're, they're on order right now. Okay. Uh, go one way with the focus. Okay, go the other way. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the front of the boat. Now go the other way. A little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Now we got the back of the boat. We're getting there. Ocula Lord with a fiber. Do you think a direct drive train mod would be good on the CR10 Smart. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's a very, very good question. Uh, Makers Muse. Okay. Hey, Angus, thanks for joining us. It, um, it is. This looks to be a really, really great evolution of the CR10 platform. It's got an updated feature set. It's sturdier. It's, it's incredibly well built. I still have to test the Wi-Fi aspect of it. Um, that's, I mean, that, that's kind of cool, but honestly, silent drivers and uh, CR6 style auto leveling on a CR10 le sized build platform. I mean, that's great, right? That is great. I think, I think we're doing well there. Oh, Naomi, thank you. Yes, everybody. So it says we still have 1,100 viewers watching. If everybody could just take up a moment and uh, poke the the thumbs up or the like, uh, it really helps get uh, visibility to the stream and it helps promote it to others who might be interested in this sort of subject matter. If you have this, ma this many viewers and, and you have a lot of likes on the stream, then YouTube views that as people in the subject matter are really interested in this video and they will tend to promote it more to people who are then interested in the subject matter. And the subject matter is 3D printing, go figure. So thank you, Naomi. I really appreciate that. Uh, tech Outreach. Angus, hashtag in my heart. Get in line. <laughs> David Johnson, I thumbs up for Joel. Thank you so much. Zoot with a fiver. What are your thoughts on smoothing prints using 3D printer resin? I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I know Uncle Jesse did that, and he had good results. Yeah, I can't wait um, to try it. It's really interesting because 3D so if you print in PLA, it's a really tough plastic to sand. You, you have to use a lot of water in order to reduce the heat. Since it has such a low melting temperature, the friction of the sandpaper is going to start pushing more plastic than it is sanding it and removing material from the surface. But 3D printer resin, when cured, is really easy to sand. I mean, you want to wear proper protection equipment, but it, it, it sands beautifully. And so if you can use that as a smoothing agent, for your PLA prints, you're in business. Like it's, it looks great and I can't wait to try it sometime. 
Nero 3DP with the Canadian Fiverr. Like that smash button, folks. And dab on it. Stop. Jeez. I just grew old, didn't I? Yep. Oh, my God. Ah, that, that thinks we're good. Sean, go back to full. You're, you're full. Okay, hold on. This is hard with... Sci-fi. Okay. 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 Hey, good job. Okay. Okay. So at this point, here's what I want to do. Uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Thank, for ev thank you, everybody, that sent in some tips. Thank you, for everybody, that went along for the ride for this. Um, thank you, Naomi, for reaching out to Creality and getting us this Benchy model. Hey, Sean, thanks for your laptop. No problem. Appreciate it. Worked out well. It did. It did. It worked out well. Uh, we got one print off of this, and we got another one going. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to using this machine, doing some projects with it, and kind of giving you a, an outlook as to what to expect if you were to purchase this machine. Uh, and just some disclosure right here. I was approached by Creality, and they asked me if I wanted to take in this machine to do a review on it. I accepted. No money was uh, traded hands. Uh, no money was exchanged. And... Uh, that's really all there is to it. Like, I get to keep the machine, and in the future, I'll probably donate it to someone in need or a school program. Sean, you're not in need. Dang it. Ha! Ha! Uh, I love you all. Really. Seriously. It was great. And um, just before I go, one quick plug for next week's stream. It's going to be Sunday, and it's the most ambitious stream I'm, I've ever attempted. And it's going to have worldwide notoriety and i can't wait it's gonna be wonderful it's 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 seriously it's gonna be wonderful i will promote it this week once i have final approval by our all parties involved i think that's fair yeah that's fair. yeah yeah once i have final approval by all parties involved i will create and send out the thumbnail and then you'll know why i'm geeked i'm pretty excited about this um <laughs> It's a year in the making. So I look forward to seeing you guys next Sunday. Listen, I love you all. Be safe. Be careful. Hug each other more. And as always, high five. There it is. Sean Yen? Yeah. There he is. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, nailed it. Should we leave the audio on, Sean? Give him some, some tidbits? Nah. Nah, we'll just cut it. Yeah, just cut the audio. Easy. Just cut it. It's easy. Woo! Anyway, so how, oh, this is this looking pretty good. Where's that cube? Look at the cube. I couldn't really tell because it's white. <laughs> I know. But look at, I mean. Oh, it's, oh, it's nice. It's yeah. good. It's like real good. Yeah. It's like, That's it's good. So here's the thing, right? One of the things you have to consider with a machine like this is, is what is someone's first time usage going to be? Right. And I know we had some hiccups along the way. Sure. Like a blank SD card, that really kind of can send new users for a loop. Sure, but I don't think that's going to be what people get when they get it from the factory, right? No, that, no, no, that, I don't think so. Because we get stuff that comes a little early. It, it came a little early. Yeah. And I think that uh, it's also solvable because, like, we were able to use a CR6 profile modified for this. Sure, yeah. So I really think this has some cool ramifications because when someone says they have a $500 budget and they want to print big things... What should they get? I'm a first timer and I'm not very technical. This is now an option. Yeah, and I, this is a great option. For that. Whereas before, if someone wasn't very technical or didn't want to troubleshoot, you couldn't recommend a CR10 just because it was it was still sort of a tinkerer's device. Right. Yeah. I mean, less than before, but still. Yeah, but still. Th this is a Especially much more with the, with the pros. I'm not sure how much the pros cost, but this is uh, I don't know. I don't know, but this is a much more refined product. Yep. Yeah, it definitely. Is. And I know, I, like, I know the case is just, you know, this is injection molded plastic. Like, and I know the drawer has magnets. And the sure. little hole to put the SD card, it's got, I mean, it looks right. I think, I think they've really, yeah, it's, it's, it's a they've done something different well. experience yeah. from what the original CR-10 was. Well, obviously, I'm, it should evolve over four years, but, like, this is a great evolution of that. Product. I'm going to, I can't wait to do more with this yeah. because if, if this works well, through some usage and testing, like we have an extremely viable sub $500 option for people who want that price range and want this build volume. Yeah. That's awesome. So what are we getting? We're getting shakes? Yeah, we're gonna go with some milkshakes. Nice. Milkshakes!